Another beautiful day full of Yakuza. How are we doing today, people? Welcome, everybody. We're playing Gaiden today. Gaiden. Gaiden, no hits, no breathing, no equipment, agent only run. Oh, buddy. No controller, no chair, no desk, no monitor, no webcam, no microphone, no chat. I know, I know that the last one is a bit tough for you guys, but yeah, no chat. Uh, yeah, what, what do we think of that? game crash nice okay no shoes no shirt Have you seen the footage of the Yakuza 8 presentation event in Japan? I saw some stuff, yeah, but uh, I didn't go too deep into it. Okay, welcome everybody, hope you're all doing well. Uh, what day is it today? Wednesday. Very close to the weekend, well, halfway through. Um, so if you're having a tough week, hang in there. Also guys, can I show you one video real quick? Will you indulge me, please? Yes or no? I guarantee and I promise if you're having a bad day, this is gonna fix that. Are we okay with that? Yo, Rahweem. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Now watch this. My favorite creature in the whole world. Car, car. Car. What do you guys think? Gosha, car. Gosha, car. Car. Gosha, car. Car. That's the one and only flop, I guess. Yo, Kyle Ward, thank you for the honey it's here. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Yo, human, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. So, hold on, I actually have to... I, I forgot to adjust the uh, the number of the subs. I'll have to do that. <laughs> Look at the size of that lad. <laughs> What a silly goober, yeah. Okay, uh... So wait, we, we gained one member? Hold on. What was the number in the last... ...stream? Yo, Kamaru! See you why you... I finally see why you want the game plus so bad. Been playing, replaying 7. And being level 60 for the first half... ...of the game felt amazing and made... Yeah, yeah, it really does. There are some Yakuza games in particular where, um... Well, hold on, is that... Chat is not right, let me fix that. There are some Yakuza games where... Um... 
God, I lost my train of thought. There are some Yakuza games where having, like, all the abilities just makes the game infinitely more fun. And then a bunch of others where you, like, it doesn't really matter if you start fresh. Like, you can do that without having too much of a painful time. Um, hint, hint, Yakuza 1 original. I think that's one of the best games to actually start fresh on. I mean, that's the only option, really. But, yeah. Um, it's not at all painful to do that. So, that that's a great thing about that game. Which, you wouldn't think that game would have that, but, yeah. Yakuza 1 OG is one of the most fun games to revisit and replay. We're playing Gaiden today. Uh, now, let me fix the member count. So, we had how many? Come on, 272. Okay, so the, the thing is actually correct this time. Okay, no need to adjust anything. Leon, please, your, please fix your bed now. No, how about that? Look at that beauty instead over there. Yakuza 3 Legend New Game Plus is hell mainly because of the chase abilities. Yeah, getting those definitely will help you. Because sometimes you do screw up unintentionally. You just run into some kind of invisible wall or something. We're gonna do sub. I mean, we listen to the dub, like, you know. Um, I don't think there's anything more that I wanna hear, I guess. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I, I wanna do it um, just in case it is something important, but I don't know. I, I think... What? Oh yeah, the, this, the, the timer, the splits. Does Gaiden have the Chinese dub? I thought that's infinite wealth. The timer, the timer, the timer. Oh, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen in the chat, have we seen any thief today? There's a man on the run. And he's falsely accusing someone else. <laughs> Why the timer? Just to calculate how long all the games takes us for fun. I'm not submitting like a speedrun or anything, but yeah. Okay, so when did I stop the timer yesterday? 49 hours. Okay, 49... A one... And here we go. Yo, Salamandero, welcome. Now, sorry to hear about that social. Have you tried to speedrun a Yakuza game? Not professionally, but yeah, for fun I did. Um, I beat games like Yakuza Kiwami, Yakuza Kiwami 2. Three, all in like three hours. Original one in three hours also, give or take. Four took me like four hours. So, yeah. Yeah, Gaiden is really quick. Um, I don't know how quick it would be for me. Maybe, like if, it's, if the speedrun is like an hour and a half or something. Maybe two hours and a half. But like I'm not super um, in a rush. Uh, it's the 17th, guys. Less than 10 days until Infinite Wealth, officially, for everybody now. So for me, that's gonna be 8 days, give or take. And I think for most people, it's gonna be... Um... Uh-oh, that was a close one. It played Ichibanka after this, which is a copyrighted uh, track. Uh, we're playing Gaiden today. Game over...
Gaiden is like Majima Saga without skipping cutscenes. Pretty much, yeah. I wonder, is the Gaiden speedrun on easy? Because, like, it's not uncommon for speedruns to be on uh, easy. Steam says seven days for me. Okay. Let me go on Steam and check. I'm tempted to buy Infinite Wealth from a key site. Hmm. Infinite Wealth. Yo, Doris. It says seven days for me as well, actually. But you know why it says that? Because, for, like, what, ten minutes ago it would have said eight days? But now it's technically less than eight days, so it says seven days. I think that's why. Maybe? Or maybe it's coming out earlier than I think it is. I don't know. Either way, really close now. Seeing Steam say seven days is uh, surreal. I'm surprised how fast the naked mods came in for the demo. I mean, that's a thing with every game. One of the first mods you'll see naked, uh, so and so, wiener out. Or balls out, as Yakuza says. Yeah, Philo, same. Which party members to choose from Majima? Uh, I recommend Namba. Because, like, the debuff he has is so, so good. Uh, Namba... Who else? Jungi, you can't, you can't go wrong with Jungi. Head trauma is really good. Um... If, if you have any fire abilities, those are going to help a lot. Fire and um, fire or water or electric, they're all good. So uh, Majima is weak to fire, Saijima is weak to, I think, water. But they all also take decent damage from electric. So... Are there DLCs for 8 free or paid? Uh, there's a few free, and then there's a bunch of paid ones. Uh, we're playing Gaiden today, and speaking of, let me just get into the game already. Hey, listen, can you blame me for wanting to chat with you guys? It's nice, okay? A moment of peace and quiet with you guys. I'm gonna play Infinite Wealth on PC. I don't play console anymore. Like, super rarely. If I do play something, it's probably the Steam Deck, which I guess technically is a console, but also not really. 8 is coming out on my birthday. Happy early birthday, Noak. Yeah, you got a costume for each of one for the newsletter thing, and I don't know... Oh yeah, I don't know if you would count this as free, but... There's a pre-order bonus. You get two jobs, and you get a bunch of, like, booster items. So if you pre-order, it's free. But if you don't, you're gonna have to pay for it, probably. Yeah, Cosmo. Seriously. My birthday is in four days. Happy birthday to all the boys and girls in chat. Everybody. Happy birthday to you, to him, to her, everybody. I got some extra money and I was going to spend it on 8 DLC, but I ended up buying both judgments. Yeah, why not? I mean, beating those two and then 8 is probably going to take you some time anyway, so... Best thing you could have done, probably. I did see some trophies for Infinite Wealth, but not all of them. Okay, we doing this or what? Ahlan Thor. Hello, Philip. Happy birthday, Leon. Hey, 
I'm not the birthday boy here. But you know, next month is gonna be my birthday. The 16th of February. I'm gonna turn uh, to the tender age of uh, 19. Okay, let's just start the game. We can chat along the way. Oh, we have another February person. Nice. Yo, KH. Yo, Levy. You made it just on time, buddy. Yo, zombie dude. Leon, you're not 19. Come on. Okay, why would you assume that? Why do people keep thinking I lie about my age? Gaiden. Like a dragon, Gaiden. The man. God, this is such a cool main menu. I love it so much. Also, hold on, let me fix chat. Chat, I can fix you. It's okay. <laughs> this chat is the like a dragon Gaiden, to be honest, I know, right? Better than saying Gaiden. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's like a couple of like actual what IGN GameSpot. Does GameSpot still exist even? IGN people who were like, like a dragon Gaiden, or I think it was one of the translators in one of the streams, but I, I can't fault the translators too much because like, you know, when, when you're like doing live interpretation, it's, it's fucking stressful as hell. You're gonna stumble sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, I'm a demon lord, just like in my animes. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Okay, uh... I already adjusted everything, so... Oh, yeah. I tuned into a stream that Snowiest was doing yesterday, after my stream. And he was having a few problems. Now, he had streams before, so it, it probably is just his internet. But for anyone out there, just in general, with Yakuza games, I noticed you want to turn off SSAO. And you want to take your FPS down to 60, because for some reason, if you take those above 60, just for streaming, then your stream might actually goof and not behave. Um, other than that, though, you can just put whatever you want. Yo, Jade. Okay, welcome, people. Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. We're doing this game today. Uh, we finished... <laughs> finished? Yakuza Dead Souls yesterday, um, and yeah, this is the game we're playing today. I'm gonna go with the standard for this one. Auto save, yes, please. Let's start the timer. Why SSAO? I don't know. I just know it lags the game like hell. Robpungi. Look at the realistic graphics, guys. What's left after this? Online? Yes! The best game. Who's excited for Yakuza Online, guys? Do you have to do the tutorial? I think you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, one, two, three, dodge, and boom. The spider. Okay. Oh, 
Are there any players still active on Yakuza Online? Oh yes, you wouldn't be surprised. I would say if I had to give like a rough estimate, maybe like at least 5,000 active players. Give or take. Maybe a bit less than that. But like, you know, whenever there's an event and you take a look at the leader leaderboards, you can get a good idea. Is the audio balance okay, by the way? Is the game, like, not too, too loud? I think it's fine, right? Screen space ambient occlusion has to do with lightning and shadows retaining to certain objects and structures. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hidden Dragon. Gonna replay Yakuza 7. My party level is 85. I think you'll be okay, yeah. Um, I don't know... What's the situation with your job levels, but... Okay, thank you, guys. Leaderboards, so there's a competitive Conquer. aspect in RGGO. Oh, yes, there is. How do you think gacha games just flourish in general? I'll tell you, I'll tell you the system of gacha games. This is like 90% of them. Every... So this depends on the game. Either every month, every two weeks, every week... Uh, there's an event, and usually they require you to have a certain character if you want to get the most Oi. points, Doku which is the event way. character. Yeah. Um, now, whether or not you have them is one, like one matter, uh, but you can still participate in the event, usually. Uh, and where do we go from there? Yeah, basically, you just have to like grind the event, get the highest points. Yeah, I wanted to get the free stamina's and I just realized that I did forget. That's fine though. So yeah, events are like a weekly thing. Or monthly or bi-weekly. You know, I'm surprised Infinite Wealth is coming out on a PS4. Hmm. Yeah, God, I, I really wish this had New Game Plus. Like, it would have been so, so much better to replay. I'm no game dev. I don't know how long it would have taken, but like... I don't know. You know, sometimes you just see modders doing stuff that you would think needs a whole team, but like a, like a single person does it. Or, you know, close to a single person. Which just shows that, you know, game companies can do this stuff, but... For some reason, it didn't happen. Now, I know this game was, like... Like, pushed out in six months, give or take, but still. Could have been a post-launch update, at the very least. Mm -hmm. I think 8 is probably their last PS4 title, lines up with K1, which was their last title. Um, PS3 title? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That actually kind of makes me excited, because I can't wait to see how the next game is gonna look like. Uh, let's get some attack upgrades. Yakuza or Agents? I would go with Yakuza overall, honestly. Agent is good, but in the late game, most of the uses is just, you know, the gadgets. Which, you know, is still... Oh no, no not the sand. Which still is part of the uh, moveset, but... Yeah. Yo, Prince Jay. Agent is crowd control, yeah. At at the early game though, Yakuza is the better crowd control, in my opinion. Agent gets better the more you go with the game.
go, bat juggle. So Agent is kind of like Crane style from Judgment? It's kind of, yes, but a bit more gimmicky. Thoughts on New New Game Plus? Well, I talked a lot about it, but yeah, I mean, there should have been New Game Plus in this. Really love how many enemies there are in one street battle. Same, same. In some games, that's a chore. It's just annoying. I think you want me twos. Street battles are not super fun. But then in this game, it works super well because, well, at this point of the franchise, the combat is much more polished and you have more tools to deal with crowds. It's just way better in every way. I love that running attack, by the way. Oh yeah, I also love how often they drop money in this game. Pretty good for the early game. Anyone played Binary Domain here? Not me. How's the bitrate streaming on 1440p? Wait, are you asking how much bitrate I'm using? 8,000. Can someone vote for Binary Domain? <laughs> we talked about Binary Domain already. Uh, I don't think... In hindsight, it's not a good idea to stream that game right now. Because this is something like... It's not a full-on speedrun marathon. But I have no idea what to expect from... Um, binary Domain. And I don't want it to take more than one stream. So to give it the respect it deserves, probably better to save it for later. You know, in the next 10 years. Yo, botch. I think you need sake. Lots of sake. Are there any drunk abilities in this game? I forget. You want me to in a fresh save? Is really boring until you get your abilities. Yeah. Especially since, you know, Kiwami, like... Yakuza too, but... Maybe especially Kiwami, I'm not sure. But both of those those games, like, a lot of the good stuff you have to really work for. You know, if you were to ask me how do you, how do you get multiple heat bars in the original two, I wouldn't know what to say. I think you get one of them from, what, like a video? Uh, that you get from somewhere? Or like a coin locker or something like that? Like, it's so... Everything is so spread out. For 100k subs, you should 100% binary domain. Does it even have a similar completion system? So, how many heat bars can you get in original 2? 5? Or is it 4? I think it's five, right? I know one of them is from a video. I don't know about the rest. Acupuncture? Does OG2 have new game plus, by the way? Drunk and low health is insanely OP. Oh, is it? <laughs> See, even chat doesn't know. I'm like, hey guys, um, these abilities in OG2, how do you get them? Chat is like... <laughs> Nobody knows. Legit. 
Yakuza 2 OG is one of those games you want to pull a guide for and it just have it sitting next to you. Which is funny because it's a localized game. Usually that's the case with like, I don't know, Kenzo. Or the Kurohiro games. Leon, what's your favorite battle theme from Gaiden? Bring it on. So speaking of, coming soon. Can't wait for that. What about you guys? Favorite uh, soundtrack, or fighting soundtrack, or whatever. Jank from Light is probably the best character in the series. You go, king or queen. <laughs> Damn. Yep, to Gao Gamasu to itadake mashita na, Kiryu san. Omoshiro. Shinuchi tojo te wa ke. Man in a suit. I just realized I forgot to buy heals. Or no, wait, I did. Uh, what I meant to say is I forgot to buy Smile Burger. That's okay, though. Who needs smiles, anyway? Oh. I do unlock this slap heat moving, too. Watch, chat, just go. Dirt. Can't wait for the Yakuza Online playthrough, same. Yo, Vellum? Yep. You need all heat actions, and some are missable. Wait, you have to defeat Amon. Conflicting answers. See, not even chat is sure. A lot of Dojima, no. Sakikar Kogide in a king cana. Curious, I knew. 
Damn, that sucks, Dragon. That's What's the most cup of coffees you drink? What do you mean, like in a day? Usually up to two cups. If even two cups. I think I had days where I drank three. Where's the juggle? It's coming soon. There, there it is. He did it. It's the style switch. There it is. Bring it on. What a what an amazing track, dude. I did sign up for the newsletter, yes. Fellas, if you want a free costume for Infinite Wolf, if you sign up for the Sega newsletter, you get an Ichiban outfit. Ponytail hair makes it worth it. Agreed. Agreed. Hey, he switched back to agent. What is this? Go ahead, pick it up. Giga Chad, damn. Knife or no knife, he fights. Ay, ay, ay. Ichiban? Leon, when Infinite Wealth comes out, will you rush the main story to avoid spoilers? Uh, I wouldn't put it that way. But the way that I'm planning to play Infinite Wealth is... Um, I'll do side stuff, but I'll try to focus on the story at first. You know why? I'll tell you why. I think that's a good idea in general, by the way. I, like, you know, it's up to you. However you want to play uh, Infinite Wealth. But... In an RPG game like that, I feel like when when you get stuff unlocked, like say sub stories or mini games or what have you, I always have this fear that I'm not like leveled enough. Because like, if I want to find out, I would have to go and visit each and every one of those things to find out. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just level up, get through the story, and then I'll go back for them. That that's my mindset. Maybe someone else thinks differently. Holy, look at how many enemies there are. Why don't you use the pseudo New Game Plus? I don't know. I, I don't mind doing this, really. I mean, it's not going to take super long, but... Yeah. 
Yeah, like basically what, what I'm trying to say is I would hate to do some like some side content only to find out Oh, you need to be level 20 to do this when, you know, I'm level 10 So might as well actually get myself in a good position And again, it's not like I'm never gonna do side stuff. I will just um, Probably not like go crazy on, on like everything Yo, Verx, good. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Oh wait. Yeah, that's Gaiden. Will you play Daytona? Wait, that's... you mean here, right? In this game? Uh, probably not. Yeah, I'll stream Infinite Wealth as soon as I can. The minute Yokoyama calls me, and he's like, Yo, bro, uh, you can stream Infinite Wealth now. I'll be like, okay, bro. Right at that same minute, I'll hit start stream. Hello. How likely is it to have a secret party member in Infinite Wealth? I hope it's like, I mean, seven did, <coughs> so I think eight should as well. Uh, I don't know, Glob. Yeah, I'm gonna play A from BC. I need to unlock the dodge attack. What'd you guys think of that? The infinite! See? Kyrie's perfect for Tekken. Maybe a little too perfect, if he can infinite like that. They would have to, uh, nerf him. <laughs> can he tell Yokoyama to add Tanimura back? I can't promise anything. Yeah, the, the side... The side step attack is as OP as ever. Oh, the spin? Okay. Like, whenever people tell me this game doesn't feel good, I'm like, okay, maybe I can understand some of it. But also, like, w what are you doing to, you know, to try and do something about that, if that makes sense? I hope my, I hope my brain is kind of making shit up right now. But I could have sworn I, I saw someone said, who said, do you want me to just combat his brother in this? Or something like that. The only problem with this game's combat, in my opinion, is just the lack of enough moves. This game desperately needs more moves. Wait, is the stream lagging for you guys? It's perfectly fine for me. I don't see any frame drops. Did it lag for anyone else? Oh no. Guys, someone's out to get us RGG content creators. First snowiest and now me.
Isn't like a moves always a problem in Dragon Engine games starting Kiryu? Maybe? But like... I don't know. Honestly, even in Yakuza 6, despite like not having something like the ground stomp, Kiryu had a decent selection of moves. At least, you know, good enough for like a solo Kiryu game. But I realize also a lot of people were spoiled on like multiple styles. Like, oh, where's my rush style? Where's my brawler? Where's my beast? I don't know. I appreciated what 6 did, going back to like a unified style, like the classic games. I didn't mind that at all. Like at all. I just wish it had at least a stomp, a stomp move. It would have made things way better. Oh no, not this guy. They bring back the worst moveset from Kiwami 2. <laughs> Knife boots. Who's a guy then? Anybody? <laughs> Come on, do something. Surely. Any second now. He's gonna stop blocking. Any second now. <laughs> Any second now. Surely, the next second. Maybe the, the one after that. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh... Okay, okay, you piece of shit. And stay down. Is there something here? I think there might have been. Maybe not. Can you try to no hit boss fight? No, that's not what we're doing today. There's like a million videos of that on YouTube. <laughs> Whoops, I slipped. I could, thank you. Fellas, <laughs> whose moveset is this? It's your favorite. Or someone's, someone's favorite uh, villain in Yakuza 5 because he got so much screen time. Which one is better, Dragon of Dojima or Agent? They both have their uses. I like to use Dragon more though. We need more Richardson movesets. And more Mine movesets if I may. If I may. Yeah, I did, I did hear about the heat mode in Tekken 8. I played just a very, like, very little of Tekken 8. 
It's kind of weird, uncanny. Not necessarily in a bad way, though. Okay, time for Jingu. Hey, come back here, you piece of shit. <laughs> Any second now. Yoshimura is probably my favorite gun boss ever, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> well, he's sleeping with the grasshoppers. Gonna have to get a new change of clothes, too. So we shall boner, thank you. <laughs> to the Yuya dimension, yeah. <laughs> Let's not save actually. We have autosave already. Okinawa. Antawa. What moveset do you think Jimmy Love would have had if he was a boss? Something like Higashi. I don't know. Jimmy would have the Kanai moveset. Hey, if Ed didn't get the Kanai moveset, Jimmy definitely wouldn't get <coughs> that. Jimmy deserves his own fighting style, agreed. Ay, ay, ay. Fellas, do you think we're gonna get throwaway characters in Yakuza 8? Like Jimmy, like you know, another Jimmy maybe. I wonder who that's gonna be. Holy shit! Oh my god! The physics of these games never fail to amuse. Never. I'm so happy to see them being there even in this game. Is this the uh, do side stuff segment? No, not yet. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Guys, if this stream is over by three hours, can you promise me not to be sad? Leon, does it feel or hit dif hits different when we're playing 7 at the Garden? Yeah, like, especially in the scenes that both games overlap. We were talking about it yesterday. When we got to the Omi scene, you know, the difference between how this game portrays that scene and that game portrays that scene. Uh... Yesterday wasn't a dead souls. Yes. Crash souls. Any tips for the justice fight in the Coliseum and Gaiden? Wait, is that the third story boss? Honestly, just get as many attack upgrades as you can get. And also equipment. Like, you know, get all the equipment slots unlocked. And then um, get as much equipment as you can get. Also, yeah, max out your allies. I don't know if you have the DLC party members, or not party members, fighters. Uh, but yeah, get some people from the sub stories as well, like Kaito and Higashi. Cheap man as well, yeah. I think at that point of the game, you're like either what, gold or platinum? If you're platinum, get all the fighters you can get from the uh, scouter in the casino uh, upstairs. Nice. Yeah, Chicken Man, like, when he pulls out the machine gun, you will just see people disappear. We were robbed of unarmed Higashi in Guidance Coliseum. Yep, absolutely. It's kind of crazy to me how, like, with barely any upgrades in this game, Yakuza feels better than Kiwami 2 and 6, um, you know, Yakuza style. Now granted, there's exceptions. 6 has the dropkick, you can't really compete with that, but otherwise, I mean... I got like what one upgrade? The dodge attack, that's it. Mm. Here we go. You want me to has triple quick step? True. But you want me to doesn't have juggles. Mm. Yeah, LJ definitely is the peak of all this combat. No question about it. Do we even get this up? Like, I don't know if it's worth it for 
Just speeding through the game. I think it's only because your attacks don't bounce off enemies like they did in K2 and 6. Definitely, there's way, way, way less of that. That, like... That is a big deal. Also, just the attacks of Dragon in this game... I'll just call it Dragon, I guess, or, or Yakuza, I don't know. But even though you're slower than 6 in K2, there's so much more impact to the uh, finishing blows. I really like that. Because a lot of the time in both those games, 6 and K2, when you do a finishing blow, you, you basically, like, it, it has no effect. The enemy's just like, oh, cool punch, bro. Eat this hyper armor. Which, you know, this game also does have hy hyper armor, but... Um, it feels like you can do more about it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But, like, so many hits that you land in K2 and 6 just... There's no oomph to them, if you will. Nice. Backflip, bruh. Did you get the ultimate edition of 8? I didn't buy the game yet, actually. I'm a real fan, I promise. Someday. In the next week. Minami, I just noticed. I feel like hyper armor, in, like in, in most games, at the very least, um, if it's not an issue during particular fights, it will be an issue in, in, in like another fight. I'll give you guys an example with, again, one of the best Yakuza games, Yakuza 0. Um, it's so weird to me because, you know, I played that game so much, but th there was one time I went back to play the game, and I was surprised by the amount of hyper, hyper armor that game had. Like, it was more than I used to remember. Somehow, like, I'm sure the game didn't change, like, that's always been there, but in my mind, I was, like, I'm thinking, okay, wait, when, when did they have this much hyper armor, you know what I mean? It's so weird. Yeah, you know, I think that just goes to goes to show. Like, a lot of time will pass, and you think a game is better than it actually is. Which, I'm not saying Yakuza 0 sucks ass and, you, like, you shouldn't like it, but... Um, again, that one time that I did go back and I had that revelation, I was like, yo, wait. That's... It doesn't feel as good as I remember it feeling. Which, yeah, like, a lot of the time when people have a conversation about, you know, comparing one game to another, nostalgia 100% is a factor. You will, like, remember a game being better than it, than it actually is. So, in cases like that, it would help if you revisit the game, either before or after that conversation. What does this guy want again? Oh, a drink. I've been going back through the climax battles and the hardest enemy in the game is the camera. Yeah, there are some moments like that. Egg. Arigato. 
that's how I felt we playing Kiwami recently. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure like we all have at least one game like that. The first time you play it, you just fall in love with it. And that love doesn't necessarily fade away. After some time, it's just, you know, you go back to it and, and you realize like some elements are different than you than how you actually remember them to be. Does anyone ever use this? Okay. Imagine if he had the triple headbutt here. And then like when he does the third headbutt, you get like this close-up and slow-mo. Ooh. Missed opportunity. Would have been the perfect game to bring that for. Um, but, you know. It is what it is. I grew more appreciation for Yakuza Fuck over time. Am I crazy for that? No, not at all. That was me with uh, Dead Souls and Yakuza 1 original. I think sometime in like the last few years, I thought going back to OG1 might be a pain. But, you know, when I actually did revisit and then I kind of started replaying it regularly, I was like, yo, this game is actually pretty replayable. Infinite Wealth just a week away! Yes! Yes. You know, on Twitter I said just about a week like away, so a little more. But Steam does say seven days for me now. to change every emote into a cat emote. Well, technically we have the cat stare to replace the Sizuma stare. Uh, where do we go from there? No, I think the timing is just kind of weird, Yuzo. Have you tried any mods? Lots of new moves. Not moveset mods, no. You know, I was half contemplating putting on the Luis mod that I have. Luis from RE4 Remake. But I was like, nah. Someone in chat is gonna be like, yo, what is this cringe? Bring back Kiryu. Oh, sorry. Bring back the Dragon of Dojima to add some weird touch to it. Holy! You see that? And people don't believe in the impact of the hits in this game. Yakuza 6 and Yakuza Kiwami 2 could never. That guy went to Somalia with that distance. God damn. These are pretty good, actually. Damn, you guys really want the game to crash, huh? Yo, wait, what's this? A black NPC in my Yakuza game? Guys, can we end the stream right now? This game is woke. See, if Nagoshi never left, we wouldn't have 
black NPCs. Am I right, gamers? Who's with me? You know, it's funny that people say that. Like, buddy, what are you trying to say? Negotiated black people? Yeah, good message there. <laughs> Peace. Gary, who's that? I only know uh, Kazuma Keryu and uh, Majima Goro. You're telling me there's other NPCs in this game? No way. Don't say it that way ever again. Why? You guys don't like my new pronunciation? Kazuma Kiryu? Oh, the hostess tutorial. Let's go. Let's go. 24 gigabytes. Here we come. I love that you can just skip, by the way. Actually, this is the better option. I found those real-life hosts is weird. A lot of people did. I, like, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter just saying, Okay, I don't know how I feel about that one. I wish I had known about the skipping when I played. It's okay. I think I didn't either, so... We're in the same boat. Now you know. If you want to replay this, you can do that. The hostess club in the castle not being utilized for cabaret is such a waste. Wait. Are you talking about what I think you were talking about? There is another one there, right? Like two hostesses here and two hostesses there? Or like, are you talking about the interior being used like for in-game design? Or in-game um, hostess uh, stuff? I think you know what I'm talking about. Uh... The whole uh, thing about the interior or like not having, you know, hostess clubs the same way we used to have them. It's purely because this game was made in six months, I'm pretty sure. And they couldn't uh, afford the time. Hmm. Kiri wants to hide his identity. I stopped taking that seriously like five minutes into the game, honestly. One of the very first things you hear. Yo, the dragon of Dojima, huh? <laughs> and it's funny too, because like... How many times do you hear that sentence in this game? <sighs> By the way, one of the best sub-stories in the whole franchise in my opinion. Mm -hmm. A new favorite. I love this. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, NTS. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like it gets the comical levels. Yo, like Majima goes, yo, Kiryu, you want to join us for like a feast? And Kiryu's like, don't kid yourself. Mm -hmm. You're talking to the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, I, I love this sub story so much. I love it. <sighs> like the writing, um, the like um, the background noises, the music, everything. The victim was at the sink when the killer stabbed them in the back with a kitchen knife, piercing their heart. If anything's gonna happen, I think right here is our best bet. You know, in hindsight, this seems like this guy trying to lead Kiryu to the sink, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, go there, ch check that place out, and then BOOM! Desperate for views. <laughs> I'm not like that, guys, am I? <laughs> uh. Yeah, picking Kiryu as a victim was this guy's worst mistake. Yeah. This. You know, this reminds me of a morbid case that actually happened in real life. Um, maybe some of you heard about it. There's a genre of streaming in Russia where... What was it called again? Trash streaming or something like that? It's like you pay a streamer to do... I actually forgot the definition for it, but basically like... You basically dare them, I guess, with money. Like, you give them money and you're like, yo, can you do this? It's like a dare, kind of. Um, there was one case of... So, there was a guy. He He's the streamer. And then there's his um, girlfriend. And then there's a friend. The friend is also... Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a female friend. So, one of the viewers donated, like, what... I don't know how much it converts to now, but it's like a big amount of money. And he asked the streamer to um, lock his girlfriend out in the cold. It was like fucking freezing outside. Um, as soon as he saw that, he just, he did it. Like, no hesitation. He locked her outside. She was knocking, she was crying, she was yelling. Um, eventually, she froze to death. And I think the police didn't even do much about it. Like, it's so sad. Mm -hmm. the, the disgusting and, like, annoying thing is that the streamer himself, like, showed no remorse. And the friend also showed no remorse. Like, are you guys fucking stupid? <laughs> I get being desperate for, like, money or something, but sheesh. It's just a horrible story. You suggesting a lot of people in Russia are cruel streamers? I mean, th there's cruel people everywhere. Uh, it's just a story that I heard that happens to take place in Russia. Do you think he was gonna go for the kill here? Mm. 
ねえ I forget where I saw the story actually, but I saw it somewhere. Yeah, but the ghost mm. kept. Oh, yeah, true, true. Yeah, see, he's disappointed, like, oh, shit, plan ruined. Mm. Uh, uh. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go back to sleeping, a.k.a. watching you. <sighs> A sponsorship? For me? Yo, Gunner. I'm shocked that there is no sad substar music in this mm. game. Wasn't there? Not at all? No, Kiryu, no, don't go! He's pissed. <laughs> Puking. <laughs> they reused a lot of Lost Judgment music. I don't mind it, honestly. Mm. It's a refreshing change of um, pace, or like whatever you say, from just reusing Yaka Zero sub story tracks. <sighs> and a lot of LJ tracks are really good. Like, they have the kind of tracks you probably wouldn't even recognize are from LJ. They just sound so good <sighs> and like are very subtle. I think like this one. No, wait, not this one. Maybe the one that was in the beginning, I'm not sure. <laughs> Speaking of sponsorships, guys, mm -hmm. have you heard that Raid Shadow Legends is on Steam now? <laughs> I think I told you guys, but I did get raid sponsorship emails, but I just never took any of them. Uh. I consider taking one, though. Uh. I mean, hell. One uh, small streamer that I kind of check out from time to time made like this, uh, or accepted the sponsorship for like an ant game. And like this ant game, I sometimes see an, an ad for. Uh, and by the way, the fucking ads for that game are so, so, so weird. And like in the disgusting kind of weird. The ad starts with like two ants mating and like then some kind of attack happens and like... <laughs> thank you, um... Yakuza 2 for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Ant Legion, I think it is, yeah. Nanny. Oh. Yeah. Who the hell would play... Okay. <laughs> Maybe there are some weirdos out there. Uh. Yeah, Jacob, basically. <sighs> mm. Yeah. Mm. 
Leon, make an raid ad, but I'm permitted, and then charge them triple for it. You know, the topic of the pricing is always... One thing that actually kind of makes me not take sponsorships, because I'm like, okay, like, how much do I ask for? I just have no idea. I don't. And I'm like, okay, what if I ask for, like, too much? What will they do? Like, say no? And then, like, bye-bye? Have a good day? Or will they actually say, okay, no, how about half of that? <laughs> what is that? Hmm? A fake name. Hmm? <sighs> Oi. <laughs> Murder house videos out there. Just for content, bruh! I think the music that plays here, hold on. Yeah, see this 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 is not too bad for this. Uh Influencer manager. You can calculate the price of integration for every ad. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> she sent a big burly dude like you. Huh? So. <sighs> <sighs> I forgot he had a boss health bar, actually. Wait, did he go into the floor? He did. Why is this scrawny streamer this tough? I actually really like that he has two boss health bars because, I mean, this is not his first murder. He probably built some kind of endurance from killing people and getting rid of, rid of them. Yeah. We need more sub-stories like this. Like, you know, starting a sub-story that actually has a nice premise only to have, like, to, to fight someone who has minus two health bar. I feel like it got old. Funny how Persona channels are getting sponsored by Sega for Infinite Ball. Well, <laughs> I mean, hey, maybe tomorrow Yokoyama's gonna be like, yo, bruh, you want a copy of the good stuff? I'd be like, sure, bruh, pass that. And then he'll be like, sure, bruh, here's an email. The AI sub story? No. We, we did it on my first playthrough. Not in this one, though. I'm gonna do a bunch of them, though. Mm. Is that the Itsuko one? Investigation request? Ay, ay, ay. God. <laughs> yeah, Yokoyama's gonna pull up in a helicopter and be like, mm. Yo! Level Leon 7! We have a, an infinite wealth copy for you! Here you go! Grab the 
Uh, en envelope. <clears throat> okay, we already have almost a million, that's good. There's like almost no upgrades until a certain point, then all upgrades are available. Yeah. This guy made me buy 99 tissues for no fucking reason. When in reality you only need two. Yeah. I bought like a lot of random stuff as well. More DPS if you switch to agent while juggling. I always, you know, for some reason I never do that. Like, agent just disappears when I start juggling from my brain. <coughs> hey, buddy. Like right now, see? <laughs> I wanted to do it, but I forgot. Nice, Peter. Do you like the Dragon of the Dojima style with blue or red heat? Uh, I'm indifferent. The DPS is pretty much the same either way, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it looks cooler if you switch styles, but... Uh, Just uh, missing the, uh, what's it called now? The serpent? Or something? Rocket shoes? And this game, juggling seems easier to pull off. Except it doesn't last as long and no damage decrease. Yeah, no damage decrease is kind of nice. But the part about it not lasting long, I feel like it depends. 
Sometimes it's weird, but yeah, the combo just drops. But like, if you do the dodge attack... <laughs> almost infinite. Almost. Actually, I'd like to try that, but we don't have a, an enemy strong enough right now. Leon, why are you so cool? I'm not cool. You're cool. Not the biggest fan of Itsuku coming back. She made both the Akaza 2 and Kiwami 2 Cannon, which made the massive paradox. <laughs> hey! Any chance of Itsuku, I mean, any opportunity of Itsuku hate, I'll jump on it as well. Yeah! Yeah! Jacob is onto something. It's kind of weird that party members participate in one-on-one -on -one battles in 7. I see it as the opposite uh, way, Rahul. It's not one-on-one -on -one battles, it's just... They didn't have the budget to animate uh, dynamic intros to have everybody. So the, the dynamic intro does show like just Ichiban, but... Yeah. It would be weird if they showed the others, honestly. Assuming they, like they're just in the background, just chilling, while each one does his thing. Okay, let's see if I can try the thing that I wanted to talk about, or wanted to try. I mean, that's like a, what, a whole health bar? Good enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> see, that's one of, that's why I'm excited for 8. Buddy. Nice. Vandalism. From what we've seen, 8 is 100% going to have at least some party members in some intros. So, just the idea of that is an, is an upgrade. Maybe in Yakuza 9 it's gonna be like, everybody, everyone! Yeah. Oh yeah, th this sub-story is kind of tedious. Like, you have to go to three different spots. Actually, it might be better to just wait for the later sub-stories. They give you so much more money. For like, barely any effort as well. The mutating dungeons thing seems interesting to me. I hope it's good. Did they mention that in the posts? Or do, do you mean like the randomized dungeons or? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also like that. I did see people get worried about, you know, having fixed spots to farm, though. 
But I wouldn't jump to conclusions yet because maybe they balanced Good. things around that fact. So farming is not going to be um, as horrible as we might think it is. Hmm, that combo might be pretty nasty. Let me try it with Yamada as soon as I defeat this guy. Wait, god damn it. Does Yakuza Online have a story mode? Buddy, it has three story modes. Can you target well? We don't have it. Now we're playing on standard. <laughs> it's Suka's required for the speedrun. She's like her sub story is pretty easy, maybe that's why. Replaying 4 and man, I don't miss chase battles. Chase battles is a victim of the remaster treatment, sadly. Just frame rate issues. The game used to be on 30 FPS on the PS3. Um, and as with a lot of remasters, the increase affected some stuff. So enemies are faster than they should be. Or like wh whoever you're chasing or being chased by. Because like in the remaster, they're constantly on you. They're not supposed to be. Nice. Joryu? A little bit of magic. Why not? I think we fight the leader now. Wow, this is taking way more time than I wanted. Just this one sub story. What's he doing after Gaiden? Yakuza online. Some moves at buddy. You know, it would have been nice if they gave Dragon like a an extreme heat um, rush combo as well. Because I think it doesn't have one, it's just agent.
you have extreme heat in Bahrain? Sure, we do. What's the easiest game to tiger drop? Uh, yeah, could, like the remastered collection, I would say. Kiwami is also pretty easy. Kiwami one, not two. Two kind of sucks. In five, you literally get an upgrade to increase the time window where you can tiger drop. I think that's a thing in Kiwami 1 as well. I could be wrong. I'm gonna get infinite wealth for Steam. Timing the Kiwami one is huge. Oh yes. I say Yakuza 3 is also easy because 3 literally has a pattern with enemies. If, if you do uh, the combo triple square double triangle, sometimes, or usually, right after that, the enemy is gonna attack. So you do that combo and then you sort of kind of spam triangle and there's a good chance you'll get a target drop. It works better with some enemies, though, over others. Some enemies, it's not the best. Yo, big boss. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I will. Jorio-sama. Uh. Hi. Du, 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 du. Can't believe Watase became evil. Oh, he has to do the heat thing. Let's wait. Watase, yeah, it's Watase. Fellas, who loves Watase? And who loves Watase? Castle be like testing the waters for infinite wealth, but with more water and swimsuits? Yeah, maybe. Oh god. This is an annoying one. Yeah, yeah, go fellas, go! Let's juggle them together. I wonder, can he actually keep them alive? Okay, do it, do it, do it. Yes! Kept them alive. Well, most of them. Is he playing with Wild Dancer from Ishian? Contrary to popular belief, I don't think so. The rush combo for Wild Dancer is very different. Maybe they're using some moves, but it's not the moveset. By the way, can we talk about this again? Just how far in-game cutscenes have come since Yakuza 6. This could almost be a full-on cutscene. Almost. 
not quite, but almost. Which is pretty huge. Takichi is right, right. I think I did see people say that before. Yo, Isaac, pretty good. How are you doing? This is like a Kiwami 2 full cutscene. If that makes sense. Because, like, a lot of the Kiwami 2 cutscenes are actually so bad. Like, the lip sync is bad, the movements are weird. Um. This game really loves Ryuji. Maybe they're setting up the return of Ryuji. Because people did just say, or pointed out, that you know the funeral event they're having in Japan for the RGG characters? Ryuji's not there for some reason. You know what that means? Ryuji and Han Junji get to go on the adventure that they go dur to uh, during Yakuza Online. You know, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's a new Gaiden game. The next one. The Ryuji Gaiden. Yeah, so there's multiple events. They had a funeral um, event. And then there's a, a red carpet one right now. I think like for the launch of Infinite Wealth. So, like the actors in Infinite Wealth show up there. Photographs. Uh, autographs and stuff like that. God, I hope if we ever get to Yuji again, he's more like Dead Souls for Yuji. Yo, Remy. The actor for Abina was dressed like Goda. Wasn't that the actor for what's his name? Tomizawa? Alright, cream and sugar. At least it's more believable that Ryuji is alive over Richardson. Mayhaps, mayhaps. Oh, AG, okay, right, right. Wouldn't mind if Ryuji lived. That's what I was saying a few streams ago. I feel like some death rate cons at this point wouldn't even, like, fan, like, some people wouldn't even be mad. Just because they, they love the characters and they think they're... Um, they were wasted, you know? But yeah, it's still not gonna be for everyone. People be mad about Kashiwagi? Yeah, I mean... I feel like most people just kind of accepted it. If I, like, if I had to say something about that. Farub and I actually talked about this. Uh, when he showed me the picture of, what's his name, Richardson? He was like, yo, uh, so check this out. And then I was like, oh, well... That's a thing. What do you think? He ba like, he's not a fan of it. We did also talk about it in the podcast. Um, he's just more like, okay, fu like, okay, fuck it. Let's just roll with it. Why not? This is a gorgeous room. You would think they would use this for a fight, but they didn't. Mm, yeah, it is pretty comical. Yeah, 
さっさと教えろ花輪はどこにいるまあそう慌てんとお祝いを言わせてくださいちょっとぐらいはそこに付き合ってくれてるか From RGG that you like. So, wait, are you asking what's the most cinematic game in general, or like what is like the, the cinematic that I like the most from RGG games? Yo, Bob. Devil Circus? Wait, what was that again? Oh. Oh my god, yeah, David Diabol is just. Uh, I wish I, I wish I can give you tips. It's been a long time since I played that. I don't think I'm the best person to ask. Uh, there's a bunch of people, though, on YouTube who recorded videos against him. Maybe they'll use stuff that uh, will give you ideas. Leon is doomed to playing RGG games until he dies. Well, I mean, better than sitting in an office until I die. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Hey, we're all destined to die doing something, right? Might as well play RGG. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna change. Maybe it's gonna be Resident Evil one day. Uh, I completely forgot about this scene, by the way. <laughs> Yo, N7 Rise? When was the last game we saw the florist? Yakuza 5? Yakuza ジベタハテキタオルノチカロ、アノヒトガミツケテクレタ。マサニチゴクニホトゲ。シシドユナマイワ、サガズギントキ。ワタセノエジニツケテモロトナマイデス。クソマミルノカコツンブステテ。ウ
せいぜい首を洗って待ってろ鼻輪を助けたらあいつがやられた分だけきっちり返しに行く Yeah, maybe the florist is a summon in Nate. Who knows? Was anywhere mentioned that New Game Plus can also be done from a premium adventure save? What do you mean for five? I mean, I would assume that's how it is. Th that's how it is in 7. All the Dragon Engine games, really. Do you think we're gonna see Shishido in the future since he joined joined the Daidoji? Probably. Him and Nishitani. Maybe they're gonna be new party members. What story is he gonna play for RGG Online? Probably none. Like, maybe we're gonna take a look at some of them, but we're not gonna understand anything. I'm just gonna show off the stuff that we're going to understand without issues. Do -do 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 -do. Do you think we'll learn about curious biological parents in Infinite Wealth? Maybe. Anything is possible. But I feel like that's one of those things, even if they didn't touch upon it, I'll, I'll be fine with that. Actually, no, let me not save. Rather find out the truth about Kiryu's parents in a Kazuma prequel game. Yeah, I think that is better. Oh yeah, this is that part. It's Surono time, baby. I honestly don't care about his true parents. Yeah, for, for the most part, same. It's in general, I honestly, for the most part, don't care what they do with the Yakuza games. As long as it's going to be a fun game. Um, I'll give you an example. Yakuza 4 story sucks ass. And I'm sure most of you at least understand why, even, even if you like Yakuza 4. But... That game has some of the best gameplay in the whole franchise, in my opinion. Best Akiyama is for Akiyama. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff in 4. Yeah, as long as it's grounded, it's a good game in my book. This guy has Yuta's moveset, right? Pretty sure he does. This game is the first to finally reuse Yakuza 6 movesets, I think. Or at least a lot of them get reused in this game for the first time. Oh yeah, Yakuza 4 has 4 faith. Whoa, 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 buddy. The double front flip. <laughs> this room reminds me of one in Judgment, actually. The backstage, if you remember. Same color pattern. Oh, 
Are you excited for RGG to announce Judgment 3 anytime soon? Oh, yes. Bring it on. When is the next vote? When we get to 300. We still need 27. Imagine we get to uh, Yakuza Online. And the number is at 299. <laughs> no new game after all. Judgment 3, Dead Souls Remastered, Kenzan Kiwami, that's all I want for the next RGG livestream. You're gonna get all of that, trust me. And the same stream too. Right guys, who's with me? Who, who shares my optimism? Anybody? No? Okay. Did he? Oh, he, he did the judgment move, or lost judgment move. The enemy toss. Also, this room has nothing, right? Curious. Yakuza Online in the West. Oh, imagine. I can already see the comments. We were robbed of Kenzan for this! This guy takes a while to charge up that attack. Which Yakuza game has the best side content in your opinion? Uh, well, before I answer that, I have to be honest about something. I usually don't care about a lot of the side content, so I don't know if I'm the best person to ask about that. Uh, let's see. Like, I, I think a lot of the minigames just aren't fun. The only ones I go back to are like, what? Karaoke? Disco? Um... The Coliseum, maybe, if that counts. Yeah, I don't know what else I would pick. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this could also drift into a conversation of, like, you know, like, two conversations will overlap between, like, which game has the most side content and which game has the most fun side content. So, I don't know. Yeah, but the minigame ranking tier list is not going to be the best for most of you. Leon, hey, it's my favorite minigame! I'm following right now.
What happens if we don't reach the sub goal? We end with the games that we have right now. YouTube people, when the streamer doesn't share the same opinion as them. Yep. A lot of people go into tier lists just to check their favorite thing. And once they see that's not where they want it, want it to be, they're like, okay, fuck this guy. <laughs> that's just how it works. And don't even try to, to tell me. You never felt that. Not, not Like, not with me, just in, in general. Like, they're not gonna listen to what you have to say. They're gonna skip to the very end and just look at the tier list. Oh my god, he put uh, Yakuza 0 in D tier? Piece of shit. I'm following right now. <coughs> yeah, opinions don't exist. People pretend they care about opinions, but they don't. <laughs> if your opinion doesn't match, then boom. You suck. <laughs> That's how it is. Leon, what bitrate are you using for these streams? 8,000. Sometimes I hear about people using 15,000. I'm like, what? You know, like those videos when you look up like streaming tutorials? Yeah, 15,000, bro. But no, I tried 8,000 and it seems to be amazing. Like, more than good enough. Uh, yeah, I heard about binary domain. We keep talking about it, actually. Um, I'm gonna go drink water real quick. I'll be back. Did you think I would take like five minutes? Sheesh. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> This is kind of epic, though. I love the choice of weapons he has here. So good. Leon, what are you taking your coffee slash tea? Well, when it comes to coffee, a bit of brown sugar and coffee creamer. Tea, I, I don't know what to say though, because like I drink five and different kinds of tea.
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm surprised they made such good characters, but like between, you know, the release of what was the last game <laughs> and uh, Infinite Wealth. Oh yeah, you guys remember? I'm not done yet. <laughs> I, I need to I need to include that somewhere. It's so good. I ain't done with you yet. Thank god I have chat and they have better memory than I do. I completely forgot about that. Man, there's so many moments. That would be good to make in a video. The double. Do you think Shishido or Tendo would win? I'm gonna go with Shishido. I saw someone saying Ebina looks like Yongye and I don't see the resemblance. Uh, I don't know about that one. That sounds like someone who just wanted to further, like, add uh, fuel to the Yongye fire. Oh, you don't have to do all the pocket circuit tournaments for the achievement here? Go to d Platinum. Nice. He looks like a Japanese G-Man from Half-Life. A little bit. Is Lost Judgment combat better than this game? Well, Lost Judgment is a full game. This is a side game. <laughs> so yes, yeah. uh, you have four different styles in Lost Judgment as well. This game has two. One of them reused with some touch-ups, and one of them completely new. Like th this game's combat is fun, but Lost Judgment has more. And generally speaking, people consider Lost Judgment Combat to be the peak, the best, the best, number one, to this day. Oh yeah, like you know, it, it's not a shocker to say Lost Judgment, Lost Judgment Combat is better than this because yeah, you barely have options here compared to that game. Uh, wait, do I need to go to the castle? Yes. What will you play tomorrow? Yakuza Online. this for now. I don't want to spend too much money. I, 
I can almost taste the infinite wealth. Same, buddy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't Julius mind seeing more Resident Evil content. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I'll do what I can. Oh yeah, hammerheads. Was that a no damage? Leon, which edition of Infinite Wealth should I pre-order? It depends on you, buddy. Do you want the DLC? Do you not want to take the DLC? It's up to you. <laughs> All damage run, <laughs> yeah. So wait, does that mean me and the opponent both die? Hi. <laughs> Yo, Bruno, thank you for the nine months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that would be nice. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they would say what the assorted costume pack is in Infinite Wealth. I think you can find the details in the Xbox or Microsoft store page, actually. <laughs> Bruh, this guy. What are you, a puzzle? Yeah, there's gonna be a Nishiki, Nishiki cost, uh, costume in uh, Infinite Wealth. Mm. Lost Judgment did have content locked behind the paywall day one. The boxer uh, moveset. <laughs> like, in general, a lot of Yakuza games, at least at this point, have like a a pack that helps you get through something. And it's been this way for a while since what, Yakuza 6? Honestly, before that even, with Yakuza 3 and 4. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Boxer either, but apparently it's good. People really like it. Whenever I say, man, Boxer is boring, Chad is like, fuck you, Leah! <laughs> I'm kidding, but he get the idea. Like, I don't think it's horrible, it's okay, but it's a style that feels super bland, and the heat actions in it are super specific. Now imagine, imagine if Boxer was base game, but Snake was the OC. Is it loud, you guys? Should I turn the volume down? Okay, next time I go in, I'll turn it down. I think it's funny that Yakuza 5's arena is still louder. Yeah, like, I never thought this was super loud. It, do it, it does get loud, yeah, but Yakuza 5 is just obnoxious. I thought the game was gonna crash. Happy now? Crash uh, supportive people? Let's see... Oh, of 
course I get Hammerhead for the first match. Nice mortal attack, bruh. Really like snake style. I don't know why people keep saying it. it's ass. Wait, people say it's ass? I thought that was like the one style people loved. Same, relieved, same. My friend hates snake style. Really? Mods? Go ban them in real life. Snake is not my favorite. It's really good though. Uh, Crane would be my favorite in Lost Judgment. It's so good. Yeah, Crane was done really right um, in Boss Judgment. Speed buffs, just making it very agile. And like, actually giving all the styles unique animations. Because um, Crane has its own stance in Boss Judgment. Uh, it, it has its own dodge animations, I'm pretty sure. You know, stuff like that. The little stuff. Yo Guts, how you doing buddy? The rush combo is still from Kenshiro, but it's still good. It's not even just a Kenshiro thing. Some of it is from Kenshiro, others is like from the Snake Flower Triad <laughs> moveset. It's a mishmash of a lot of things. But I still like it. Can he juggle Daigo? No, I don't think so. Hey, 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 hey. Oh shit. Hangman! What happened to your butt? Missed opportunity not to make him playable. Yeah, worst game ever for that one. We often hear about female character censorship. This is a male character censorship. Ain't that some shit. How dare they do that? And they say there's no sexualized male characters in games. Look at my boy. He was so sexy they literally had to nerf him. And he can't say that's a lie. It's a fact. Suffering from sexiness. I don't even think it's human. Whoa, whoa. Okay, wait. No, no. Hangman is human. That's why he's called man. See the man part? Human.
<laughs> Guys, what do you think of the Daigo gameplay? It's fire, right? Oi, oi, oi. Let's switch it up a little, maybe level up Sa uh not Saigama. Majima. Majima's only good at max level. God, they gave me hammerhead again, they know. God, the damage is painful, actually. Uh-oh. This combo and this combo are both really good. Usually they will, like, stun the enemy and knock them back a little. Oh, again? Is he the only one in this tournament? Bruh. Hammerhead everywhere system, yep. Majima feels different in this compared to Majima Saga, absolutely. He was much, much worse than the Majima Saga. Ayo, hey, Majima? <laughs> that's not a juggle, that's a, a fucking... I don't know what to call it. A super juggle. Oh my god. Yakuza 2! Yes! Whoa, bouncy boy. <laughs> mm, should we level up Saijima as well? Let's go for it. No, not here, Saijima. No! Uh, he never shuts up about Baba. Oh no. Saijima, why are you like this? Dude! We still got this. Hey, yo, hey, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I really do wish they had heat actions. At least, at least, like the, the you know, the ground one. At the bare minimum. Would have been nice. What does Grab do for him? The same thing that it does for defense characters. I think it's like a defense boost. I never knew what it is. Does anyone know? We'll try to do it in the next fight. 
Oh wait, no, no, no. Right, for him it's a grab. But I think for some of the defense characters, they do like a hunt. Oh, yeah, so th that's... It gives them the same effect, I think. I don't know what, what it does, though. Yeah, I forgot about the mid-air grab. Thank you for reminding me about that. Should I go back to playing Daigo? Let's level up Majima a little bit. Is Saijima's headbutt in this? I don't think so. It's Hirose. They did Hirose dirty. <laughs> what do you mean? Look, he looks so cool in this game. Uh... Man, it's always fun to go back to this. Nice. Okay. 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 All right. A Polter guys just did all of that. <laughs> okay. God damn, that hammer broke. <laughs> Yeah, Majima broke gravity like two times now. Another victim of 120 FPS? Actually, wait, wait. I have mine set to 60. If I put it in 120, does the game lag? No, we're good to go. Okay, okay. Maybe now we get more shenanigans? Isn't that exciting? Maybe this time we see like five people flying instead of one. Hopefully, yeah, now the good shit begins. Hopefully. Man, I know I said this before, but it's such a difference, actually. It looks so much smoother. Nothing yet. I was gonna say, watch this be a snooze fest, even, even though we expect it to be, like, bonkers. Does it become even worse at Unlimited? I think so. I'm not sure. <laughs> Goddamn Blink.
Have you tried the God of War games? I played the few of them, I think, on the PS2 long ago. But I never really stuck with them. Yeah, the game knows we're expecting. <laughs> okay. Nice little bounce. What's your opinion on the dot hack games? I love those games. Those were part of my childhood. Um, I started uh, playing them again, like what, last year? Early last year? But I never finished them. I finished one? I don't know if I finished two. But yeah, I love those games so much. They're pretty anime, like as anime as it gets, but I, like, I love them. I think they still have something special. <laughs> For those who never heard of the Dot Hack games, it's like... Think of Sword Art Online, but actually good. Okay, maybe that's harsh. I, I never really watched anything Sword Art Online related, but I heard it got bad eventually, like really bad. Uh, but yeah, so like, you play as an MMO character, right? That's the premise. So again, I, I think that's pretty much Sword Art Online. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, that's the premise. Uh, but I, I think, like, the story differs. I don't know. Again, I, I don't know enough about Sword Art Online. So, like... Um, you're like this famous PKK. Like a player killer killer. Um, and at the beginning, something happens that leads to, like, data loss, basically. And you have to start over. Um... And at some point, like, the, the game itself gets, like, in infected with this weird virus. And it affects the, the MMO itself. Like, you still play the MMO, but there's a lot of weird stuff happening. And yeah, fr from, from there, it just kind of, things happen. I should be more specific, though. Um... There's a lot of dot .hack games. I only played dot .hack GU. I didn't play the others. <laughs> Why don't you play Chicken Man and use his GYAT? GYAT! GYAT! <laughs> oh, that little bounce. Nice. Um, if I want to get Chicken Man, we have to make it to Platinum tier, I think, sadly. I plan on getting them. How long are they in terms of length? I think the first game is like, what, 20 hours? Like, you would think it's 100 hours, but no. 20 to 30, maybe? Depending on how much side stuff you do. Uh, the second game, I like, I think they're all the same, really. 20 to 30 hours. I, I think the third one is the largest. Like, you have a lot of ca uh, characters, party members. And there's a lot of side stuff to do as well. So, maybe 20 to 30, 20 to 30, and then 50. But, like, yeah, when I revisited Dot Hack GU, I was surprised at how short it was. It felt way longer when I was a kid, but that's probably because I messed around a lot when I was a kid. Just exploring and all that. Are they gonna do all the arena fights? I don't know about all of them, but we'll see. I didn't watch, again, Sword Art Online, but I heard something really stupid happens. Something like... The pro like the protag's love interest is held hostage by her brother or something like that. So the protag like in real life goes and rescues her or something like like I, I don't know. It's so weird. Wait, did I take my? Oh, I didn't.
dot hack GU is pretty like again it's cheesy whoa anime stuff but uh, definitely not that uh, weird well it, it is pretty weird to be fair but like not you know oh the, the love interest uh, got kidnapped by a sibling and you have to go like it, it's not like that Isn't there insist in that anime? Isn't there insist in like 50% of anime to be fair? At this point, it's just like, okay. You know, anime being silly, whatever. Yeah, they have a volume 4, but from what I, what I heard, it's really short. Like, there's barely gameplay. The flip? Yeah, that's what I heard as well, Nova. Uh, okay, cool. Thank you, Hammer Ally. Have you gotten S rank in all of them? I think so. On my like main save, or maybe not on all of these like um, uh, like Hell Rumbles or whatever they're called. I'm not sure. Thank you, Fiend. Any games after Yakuza Online? Not for now, no. We need to get to 300 for the next game. What is the best final boss team? All of them. I don't know. I didn't watch that, Doris. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> How close is the next? Oh, yeah, yeah. 300 for the new game. All of them is such a base dancer. I mean, like, whenever I, people ask me, like, hey, Leon, what's your favorite this and that? I always struggle, just because I never really sit down and think about, hey, like, okay, th this team sucks. Th this team is number two, this one is three, you know what I mean? I'm more of a, yo, this team slaps. Yo, that team slaps too, you know? There's a new rule on Reddit Yakuza games. No Young Gear posts. Yeah, well, to be fair, if you've seen uh, to what levels it sometimes gets to, I would do the same. Because, like, how many times are you going to state that you hate something? Eventually, anyone is going to be sick. 
of hearing that. Yo, chat, my fart smells. Oh, by the way, did you know my fart smells? Oh, let me tell you again, my fart smells. Oh, you didn't hear it? My fart smells. Oh, let me say that again just in case, like, you were distracted. My fart smells. Oh, uh, maybe you were, uh, like, uh, see where this is going? Like, no one wants to hear it, like, just shut up, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yo, the frame's dropping in this arena. Damn. Are you implying 10 years joke is not funny? <laughs> well, to be fair... To be fair... How many times do we hear it on this stream? This arena right now is what's going on in my GPU. My GPU uh, temperature is actually not that high right now. So there shouldn't be a problem. Did someone spam the 10 years joke? Well, there like one of my Yakuza 1 playthroughs, like people at random just kept going 10 years, 10 years, yo, Leon, 10 years. I actually might have banned a guy because of it. Because like he would never shut up. Like, not like, oh, 10 years, haha. And then like he comes back an hour later, 10 years, haha. No, I'm talking like, Leon, 10 years, haha. Like two seconds later, 10 years, get it, Leon, haha, <laughs> 10 years. Like, shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> like, please, come on. <laughs> like, there's a limit to how much I can tolerate stuff like that. Or anyone, really. Like, it's not just a me thing. If the same person just, like, repeats the same fucking thing, like, 20 times in, like, the span of a minute, then you're gonna sick- you're gonna get sick of it, eventually. In that sense, like, yeah, it it's not funny. But if it's like, you know... Um... HOLY! If it's like, you know, w once in a blue moon we go back to that game and then we get to Nishiki and people are like, Hey, it's the 10 years, man. Then like, yeah, you know. Fair enough, sure. We do a little silly. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not this guy. Damn, Ma Majima's knife must be made of titanium or some shit. Du -du -du. What about the 800 rupees in joke? The last time I saw that was like, what, yesterday? And before that, it was like months ago. Yo, Black, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, a decade, yeah. Funny, <laughs> yeah, I know. What Japan-only spin-off do you want to be localized, and why is it Yakuza Online? You said it. Because it's Yakuza Online. Obviously, we get to play with others, right? Well, to be fair, I just like the idea of, like, a live service game that continuously gets supported, but also gacha games kind of suck. Like, I'm aware of that. I don't know. Um, Yakuza Online to me is like that game you just kind of look at from the sidelines and like, ha ha ha, that silly gotcha game. What new card do they have today? You know what I mean? <laughs> TF2 was the original gotcha game, yeah. 
the original gacha game where like you didn't need to spend. You only spend uh, money to look cool. That's it. Do you think we'll br bring back Ryuji, or was it jokes in this game? Well, we did talk about how the funeral event they had in Japan didn't have Ryuji in it. There was like so many characters, but not Ryuji, so maybe he is alive. Maybe the next Gaiden game is going to be a Ryuji game. Do you think RGG Studios is cooking, cooking a new IP? Maybe, yeah. It's possible. Thank you for the eight months, Zeptere. I can't wait either. The name of the exhibit, Scattered Men, yeah. Was Somi in the funeral? Didn't spot him? I don't know. I didn't, like, keep up with it too much. Sohei Dojima will be an 8, according to me. Thank you for this info. your favorite Kiwami and Zero style? Well, for Zero, it's probably Thug for Majima. And Kiwami? Maxed. Dragon. It's the most broken thing ever. I play RGG02, by the way. Cannot run away from gacha games. Oh no. Run while you can. Run. Man, there, you know, there, there's an event going on right now with a Jungi card. I tried my luck and I didn't get him. It was bad. Fellas, do we dish out the credit card for this one? For Jungi? <laughs> playing Honkai right now. Help! Run! Find Yumi! Find the 10 billion! Please! Run! Uh... Oh, I have 5 million. Damn. Honestly, I think I'm kind of set for the the rest of the game, but we're chilling. We're three hours in now, it seems. Was there ever a character you thought will die for sure and didn't? Uh, Richardson, I guess. Like no one thought that guy was gonna was gonna come back, but hey, there he is. Running a bar in Hawaii.
wait, it's different? How do you mean different? A Yaka's MMO? I don't know. Okay, this one is easy. The Samurai Quest. Easy money. Because they brought him back after 15 years? That's why I would say it counts. Because, like, you know... You see that guy fall off that building, you're like, okay, no way he's coming back. I don't think it's Richardson. It's a nod or a brother. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe he had a jetpack underneath that jacket. You never know. He's always prepared. Always. Also, I just realized um, I wanted to be careful from like the uh, the uh, what's it called? That one track that always gets me a copyright notice in interiors. Uh, hopefully, because I've been talking this whole stream, it doesn't show up. Hopefully. I've actually considered muting the whole fucking game, just for that. I might reach out to a modder for this, actually. Because, like, if, if Sega's not gonna fix it, I mean, what other choice do we have? Row, 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 row. Leon, do you have a twin brother? Yes. In Florida. What do we replace the track with? The Mario song, how about that? The worst karaoke song you can find. So, Rouge of Love. I'm just kidding. I swear to God. I'm just kidding. I don't think it's the worst song, but you know, you know, it's a good song. Wait, someone actually agrees. <laughs> I was kidding. I promise. Hmm? Uh. I promise, I'm kidding. <laughs> Look at Kiryu beating a homeless guy. What an asshole. Who is with me, guys? Let's cancel Kiryu. This piece of shit. Look! What is this? Kiryu is a terrible human being? Real, real, real. Lag for me? Is it lagging for anybody else? It seems perfect on my end, still. I forgot that I had this. Man, this is so good for crowd control. This is not even the, the, the 
like the highest upgrade for the boots. You can get them to be even stronger. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Where did that plant come from? What? I didn't even mean to get it. Oh, thank you, Groovy. Thank you. That's so nice of you. The stun was gone really quick. If there is one thing that I wanted from this game, it's a consistent way to stun enemies. I don't know if there is one. Because, yeah, there's a really cool heat action locked behind stunning enemies. And the only way I know of is just, like, random. Just, like, knock them down. And when, when they get up, they might be stunned. Including bosses. Oi. Leon, next time you go to the boutique, can you make Kiryu have his feet out? Do we need to? <laughs> oh, there's the samurai. Three head attacks stun the enemy. Really? That's pretty specific. You get like a split second with the bosses, usually. Maybe now he's gonna do it again? No. Don't you have to pay like, what, 300,000 yen for feet? Like... Why do I have to pay to take my shoes off? How does that make sense? Nice. Imagine in real life you have to pay every time you want to take your shoes off. Shoe removal license, yeah. <laughs> Gotta imagine. Out in the street you take your shoes off. A police officer sees that. And they ch like check your license for taking your shoes off. And if you don't have it, well, tough luck, buddy. You're going to jail. <sighs> what do you think are the like the requirements to get the feet license? Food hygiene, yeah, hygiene.
Do 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 do. There's the tiger drop. We can get it actually, but like, it's not super good in this game. I don't like. It's good, but it's not like th this is better. I would say. Uh, I did see some of the trophies, yeah. Grip breaker. Hmm. Who wants to devour a pizza, a pizza with me? Oh, hell yeah. Give me that. Do 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 do. Having to master the technique of taking shoes swiftly in 0 0.5 seconds. I can do that. Did you subscribe to the newsletter? I did. Did you guys? For that free Ichiban outfit? I wonder if Yakuza 8 is going to have weekly updates like, uh, you know, Yakuza 7 did. 6, 5... Um, Kiwami, Zero, they all had weekly updates for like a month to get costumes and stuff like that. Might be nice. Real, 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 real. Yakuza 8 Battle Pass. Finally. The banana hammock costume included. <clears throat> A weekly dungeon, yeah. So, you know, st little stuff like that. I would actually love. Why not? <laughs> nice. God, I, I love the shoes, dude. <laughs> Creating your own dungeon would be nice. Oh, yeah. Imagine if we have, like, a dungeon maker, and you can, like, share your dungeon online. God, that would be so cool. It's like, uh, what's it called? The Mario Maker? Super Mario Maker? Whatever it's called. Whoa! Is that a bot? Lucy? Lucy! <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> Bots these days, I tell you. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, the Clone Wars. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me play something while we do this, actually. What do we play? Bring it on? Yeah, look, it's Vosk. Far Cry 3. Yeah. Lucy is back. No. She
Shishido doxing the stream, yeah. Here we go. This is a boss fight, you guys. You don't get it. This is a boss fight. <laughs> We're having a YouTube boss fight. That's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, it's the VTuber boss fight. Hold on, I actually have an idea. All right, busters. You want to spam? Subscribe. Bring on the subs. Then we can talk. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, actually. But yeah, here we go. Yeah, bring on the subs. Then we can do this. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know who the hell Lucy is, but... Uh... Maybe those are her simps or something, I don't know. Lucy, buddy, if you're watching this, tell those simps to behave, please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, now Chad just spams Lucy anyway. For the memes. Yo, Crimson Shadow, how you doing, buddy? No, that's just another day on YouTube, honestly. It's been a while since we got something like that, though. That has to be some kind of, uh... I don't know, like, new bot craze going on or something. Okay, I might jinx it by saying this, but I sure hope Snowy doesn't get this later on. Go away if you play Yakuza 5. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say about Yakuza 5, huh? <sighs> will he stream today? He will, actually, yeah. Uh, I think. Because uh, he's playing through Yakuza 7 in preparation for Infinite Wealth. Yesterday's stream did not go well. So hopefully today's stream does. Saw that a month ago with another streamer. I watched where the boss would have... Wait, so the same thing? The same thing happened with another streamer, you say? Pikusa 5. Indeed, thank you, BK4. A month or two ago, I see. YouTube has had a, like, a bot problem for a while now. It is what it is.
Oh, nice. Gold. Cool. Leon is gaslighting us. He was behind the bots the whole time. Yeah, I just wanted to create a show for you guys. Can you forgive me? Does anyone agree Six had the weakest story? So good. Uh... I think every single game does have its low points, but in my opinion, I think 2 and 5 are the weakest. But that's a me issue. Wait, do we need to go to the castle? Oh yeah, I forgot about 4 as well. Yeah, thank you. Is it dropping frames for you guys here? Okay, they are. Okay. Classic castle. Punch! The punch is coming here. Okay. Dead Souls frames. So you mean perfect frames? Took me a while to get into it, but I love it now. That's nice. I'm gonna play Infinite Vault on PC. Uh, wait. Did it break off? Okay. How many people do we have in the chat that are gonna play Infinite Vault on a PS4? I wonder how the game is going to perform there. I'm assuming, well... Recently, I think the games have been well optimized, so I think it's going to be fine. Oh, we skipped the punch, damn it. Did the PS5 Pro come out yet? That's gonna be a thing, right? Or was it the Slim? I can't remember. The Slim, okay. Wait, you can't grab him? Okay, there we go. I feel like 4 was supposed to be passing of the Torch game like 7, but the test players didn't like the other characters. And the subtitles kind of support the theory. Probably, yeah. Yakuza 4 is subtitled uh, successor of the legend. Um, we didn't get that title in the West, of course, but... You know. I thought people liked Akiyama. Yeah, Akiyama's pretty popular. Maybe they just didn't like the idea of letting go of Kiryu just yet. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, also, to be fair, Yakuza 4's story is, well, it's there. Maybe that 
was the reason. Who is the successor? We'll never know. It's lagging a lot here. Maybe I should drop the frame rate, actually. This is such a cool sequence. Just full on Spider Jorio. This whole part reminds me a lot of Yakuza 6, actually. The environment. Looks like a place you would find in uh, the Iwami shipyard. Doji aren't a convincing threat to me. They jobbed so hard in Gaiden. You know who else jobbed? The Tojo clan. The chat is kind of off. Oh yeah, hold on. God, why can't 8 already be out? I'm so excited. Same, buddy. Same. But we're so close now. God damn alchemy points. One complaint that I do have about this game, the alchemy point system. They probably added that just for you, like, to give you a reason to do sub-stories, and I get that, but, like, why do you need that for this, you know? Mm-hmm. sucks because I won't be able to know life 8 since it's coming out in my first week of the next semester. Oh man, that's rough. Oh, uh, that's rough. I'm sorry, Zoo. <laughs> you know, I don't know how it works there, but here I usually, like, I'm not gonna say, like, I don't go for the whole first week, but, like, you know, you can miss the first day, first couple of days. Maybe. But hey, I'm a bad influence, don't let me decide that for you. You know, I do remember when Yakuza 5 came out, I skipped uh, university. Like, I think it was just a day, but still. I was so excited, I wanted to have like a day for me and for Yakuza 5. day was spent on the first chapter. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember how that playthrough went, but I think I skipped everything. Because, like, uh, when Yaga Survive came out in the West, I already played the Japanese version a lot. 
I don't know. I don't remember, honestly, but yeah. That was a time where I did just import all the Yakuza games until the English release came out. I did that for Yakuza 4, for Yakuza 5, 0, Kiwami, 6. Whoa! The bouncy! So you played the story, the... Yeah, I played not knowing the story for the most part. The, like, the gameplay was good, good enough for me. Um, I guessed what happened in the story. And then, you know, when the official English release comes out, I would be like, Oh, so that's what this is about. Man, that <laughs> dodge attack, dude. It's so busted. Turning off my Wi-Fi when 8 drops? What if there's a day 1 update? Or a day 2 update? Yeah, what you gonna do then? <laughs> Will you play in English or Japanese dub? Japanese dub. We'll do English voices maybe in the second playthrough or something. Once I'm done with the game. I love the rocket boots, but I think they're a little OP. Yeah, like... I don't mind it personally, but yeah, I do understand. Leon, will you share your Dundaku Island? And can I visit it? No one can visit my Dundaku Island. Except... <coughs> members. Now, yeah, I mean... I don't know how that's gonna work, but it might be fun. Just making a stream where we visit each other. It's... Like, it most likely won't be a thing where, like, you can see the other players because, I mean... That's gonna be like five Ichiban's meeting each other, which I doubt that's gonna happen, but we'll see. Aloha! Yeah, I'm gonna build a shrine to Jungi Han, and I don't want you guys to see it. I'm embarrassed. Name's Dwight. Anyone feel like they spoiled too much with the trailers? Well... Better them showing that than leakers, right? It's a competition. Oh, you showed that? Well, we, we'll show this. I personally don't mind it. Like, you know, spoilers differ from one person to another. Someone will tell you the front cover of a game is a spoiler. Um, and others will, like, you know, they'll watch an hour worth of gameplay or scenes from the game. And they'll be like, oh, this game looks cool. I'll give it a try. <laughs> yeah, some people will be like, they spoiled one of the characters' names being Ichiban. How could they do that? Oh! <laughs> 
What if RGG purposefully put fake spoilers in the demo? That would be the biggest brain move ever. I'll probably try to avoid watching story trailers for 9, but for 8 I think the game is massive enough that we've barely scratched the surface. Yeah, possibly. Leon, when you go to heat mode and charge attack, they fly? Oh, I need to try that at some point. Alright, the attack of the clowns. Payday. Any predictions for 8? Ryuji will come back. Trust me, bro. Look, guys. It's the bots from earlier. Okay, maybe that's not the best enemy to use that on. I'll try it later. This is a bit of a messy fight. Oh god, guns. Oh! No way! Okay, when he said they fly, I was like, okay, like what? Two extra meters? No, the guy fucking went to another dimension. No way. Oh, that is so good. Damn, okay. <laughs> Hold on, I want to kill the boss first so we can do more of that. Extreme heat tiger drops are fucking hilarious. Oh man, I kind of wish I had the tiger drop now. Feels bad. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me... Let me take enough distance. Oh! Oh! Oh, nice dodge, okay. <laughs> he knew. No, not... I'll kill you, damn it. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's fucking that's uh, cartoonish. Just <laughs> ridiculous. I'm actually gonna go drink water real quick. Make sure nothing happens in chat, okay? ジョーディ。なんでお前そんなに連れねえんだよ。ここは札だって来ねえし、お前の素性がどんなんでも許してやるって。な。グラさんも外せよ。会長。もう勘弁してもらえませんか。ジョーディは俺らにも素性を明か
Oh no. I wanted to play something, but Stream Deck in classic fashion completely misses the timing. Thank you, Stream, uh, stream Deck. Really appreciate that. Would have been funny if he farted like as he touches his junk, though. He has a fart fetish. Does Niche any wear lipstick? I think so. Dude, that breaks the game. We're already here. Damn! Fellas, put a one in the chat if, when you first heard the song, you just dropped the contr uh, controller and he twerked. Like, he didn't care about the fight anymore. Whoa! Damn! <laughs> okay. That's a lot of ones. Okay. <laughs> A lot of twerkers in chat. I should add that emote, <laughs> actually. It is an emote. Did you, Leon? Of course. I was streaming it too. Just ask chat. Woo! <laughs> oh, chat. Bunch of memesters. Would be funny if you can send this Nishani flying with the charge attacks. Hold on. I don't think it's gonna work because he's a boss, but. But. Yep, no, okay, no. Yep. It's a shame this Nishitani got a unique track, but the original one didn't. Is it me or the stream laggy? It might be laggy here. It's fine now though for me. This area in general is really laggy on stream. I love this shot for some reason. It's so good. You! You're the one who farted just now, right? What did you think of the ending scene of Gaiden? I loved it. I thought it was really good. Yeah, Bruno. Same token. Also, when I see that same shot, I just think back to fading away, so that just makes it twice as good. The Laughing Man. The Laughing Man! Any Laughing Mans in chat? Laughing Women's as well? You may uh, participate. Yeah, that's that insane. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hold on, let me check something. Imagine if I check my subscriber count now, and like, it went up by 100 because those bots actually subscribed. Oh my... <laughs> okay, okay. I can't tell if they actually did subscribe, but... 
My sub count went from 93k to 93.1k. Holy shit. <laughs> Did it work? Hold on. What can I see? I want to see like a list. I, I don't know where you can see a list. Uh. Oh, by the way, I've always wanted to say this, but um, since we hit 93k recently, thank you, every one of you in chat right now, um, even those who are not subscribed right now, just just for being here, for watching. Thank you. Um, but also for those who did click the subscribe button, if you will, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, it helps me out a lot, and just being here actually helps me out a lot. Uh, liking the videos, commenting, and all that helps a lot. And I really appreciate that, so thank you. Um, and hopefully uh, there will be more content to uh, to come at, at uh, so, you know, with, with time. I can't speak anymore, so let's just move on. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. In fact... Let me do a little something, how about that? Will you guys let me do a little something? Mr. Devil... Oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you for the five gifted subs, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Congratulations, people. Didn't you just hit 90k when Gaiden released? I'm not sure, actually. I'm bad with time. Obama giving himself a medal, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought of as well. Also, just took your name and get the subs, by the way. What? Mods! Get him! A piece of. Ugh. Oh my god, the camera. Real, real. Thank you for the six months, MJ Killer. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. I need to restock on heals. Any heals in chat? Like the shoes? Look at the drones. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, his back is not having a good time. Yeah, 19 more and we get to add a new game. Quick step and square is better than tiger drop. It is. Feels really strange to have a Yakuza game without Kamurocho. Yeah. Definitely makes this game stand out. Rendezvous with Surunov.
90 more for Yakuza 5 again. Bruh. I could add Yakuza 5 as a joke again. But I am 100, 120% confident it's gonna win. Because chat, well... My chat is... Well, my chat. So I'm not gonna do that. Sub stories only. Chat, 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 watch this, watch this. Oh, he didn't get hit. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's so fucking funny to look at. I love it. It's some Looney Tunes shit, like, you know, like when someone gets kicked to this, like, sky high, and then they, like, there's this sparkle. Continue the debauchery. Try unlimited with. Yeah, we could try to, to do that at some point. If the stream doesn't lag like hell. Oh, we'll get to karaoke. I think we have to do everything. It's not optional. Uh, wait. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm actually surprised the work twice in a row. That that was like good enough. Of course it wasn't gonna happen three times in a row. Uh, almost. I keep forgetting about the wind thing, actually. Yeah. Yush. Uh, right. Yush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Devil, go for seven, baby. Uh, more like this, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Yush. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Not gonna play this sound anymore, but yeah, that was... I definitely didn't expect to get, um... Like, you know... What do they call the, these shots? I don't know. Uh... Sunks, thank you. you this is the real reason she should have went bad. <laughs> yep. Real... Nice. Yo, Mobius, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank yes. you. Congratulations, Ken. Damn, Kiri, you absolutely destroyed.
gave me money on top of that. This is why he did what he did. Oh, we can't go. Later, Koala. It's so funny how I beat Suruno in Billiard and what? Wait, one hit? He can do that? How? Teach me your ways. Who's hungry? Are you guys a slow eater or a fast eater? Like, assuming you're alone, of course. Like, do you just chomp down on that shit? Or, like, do you... Do you, like, I don't know, open YouTube and, like, watch something and, like, you know, you focus on the video and you take small bites? Both. Depends on the day. You know, I never knew the term social eating was a thing, but apparently it is. I hate having to do social eating. I absolutely hate it. Unless I see a fettuccine Alfredo, I'm gulping that shit up. <laughs> nice. I try to open YouTube, but I end up eating the in t the whole food before. Understandable. I'm eating while watching this. Nice. What are you doing after Gaiden? Yakuza Online. The people want Yakuza Online. Best pasta? I'm not much of a pasta guy. Like, I like pasta, but... I don't have it often. Fettuccine Alfredo is... a good choice. Actually, actually, wait, 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 what's it called? Risotto. Oh. The good stuff. I love risotto. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is rice. My bad. <laughs> I don't know what, like... Yeah, why, why the hell did I say it? <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry. It feels like you're eating pasta, so I just said, you know what, risotto. Ravioli. Oh man, when was the last time I had ravioli? Risotto, yeah, risotto, yeah. Any comfort foods? That's usually just any food for me, honestly. Leon Mukbang when? I can do a Mukbang if I turn off the camera. Sayonara. Alright. Oh, thank you for the gifted sub. Hamad, thank you. Oh, 
Wait, do I have Japanese voices on or English? I actually didn't check until now. It's Japanese voices, right? Japanese, okay. Silent love. Chinese, okay. <laughs> Next. Oh, what? Perfect score. Bruh. Okay. I'll take it. Silent night. Ever thought about playing marbles with chat? I'm not sure if I know what that is. Maybe if I see it, but... Okay, time for pool. Will you be playing Chinese dub too in Infinite Wealth? I might. So, how about this? First playthrough Japanese. Potentially second playthrough Chinese. And then, like, just. After, like after that, we switch to English. Whether it's like new game plus or whatever, I don't know. Doing three playthroughs in that game, I think, is gonna take a while. Like it's not. I don't know. We'll see. First playthrough is Japanese. Yeah, but Danny threw. Oh God, I just realized Chinese Danny threw. <laughs> oh, that, that's just like. The, the 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 sound of, like the sentence the sound of that is so cursed. <laughs> I can't wait for that actually. High time you met head of the Barracudas. Name's Dwight. God, he's so cool. All right, chat, chat. Place your bets or predictions. Who's gonna be your favorite villain in Infinite Wealth? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say Dwight. I mean, I think it's, it's obvious, but Kiryu. Yamai yeah, seems like he's shaping up to be. Um, well. Didn't Yokoyama say he's expecting Yamai to be more popular than Majima? Or like, around the same popularity as Majima? That's a tall order, but I'm excited to see how that's gonna happen. Uh, mirror face, yeah. <laughs> uh, the Chinese dude. Oh yeah, what's his name? Did they even say his name? Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. The Daniel Day Kim guy. Ichiban's mom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> mm. Ooh, not the best spot.
What? It actually hit? Bruh. Yeah, the cult guy seems really interesting as well. Yush. Bryce. Oh. Okay, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Paul Master here. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh. This one might be tough. Or maybe not. No. Yeah, just barely. I, I love how everyone is like, okay, that wheelchair guy is going to be evil. <laughs> Guys, he's a wheelchair guy. Come on. What's he going to do? Get off the wheelchair and like walk? <laughs> Sheesh. Ch chat these days. <laughs> Don't mess with us, Yakuza fans. We want to fight the guy who can't walk, yep. <laughs> You do know the main villain in Seven was also a wheelchair guy. Oh, shit. Uh, what do I say to that? Uh, uh, I can't. I can't say anything. He has a point. Shit. Fuck. Damn it. Ah. Oh, nice. Epic, dude. How many times did he do this? Like three times now? <laughs> Thank you, Sorono. He's helping me out. Yush. Hmm. That man is no driver. Who you should be arresting is the thief. Yes. Yeah, fellas, let that sink in. Jin Goda, you know the wheelchair guy in Yakuza 2, was the final boss for Ryuji in Yakuza Online. I'm actually... Do we show that now? Or do we show it tomorrow? I'm tempted to show it now, just because it's so dumb. <laughs> what do you think will be a summon that hasn't got revealed? I don't know, good question. Now, save it for the hype. <laughs> Guys, there's a surprise waiting for you tomorrow. God, I wish I had that card, but I don't. Feels bad. Is his card good though? I think it used to be. Used to be. Now though, it's outdated as hell because there's a new rarity that is double the stats of SSR, called KSR. And now KSR cards are actually almost triple the stats of normal SSR cards. So, you know. Is this the grand fight, I think? Ooh. 
Guys, want to see something cool? Watch. I can't get over this. <laughs> it's so fucking funny, dude. Oh! <laughs> I love it. You know, you do get a decent amount of heat from taunting. Yeah, that's the lower accurate Kiryu. Power creep. That's mobile games in general. Okay, you know what we do in, in a fight like this. God damn it, fucking gun enemies. Look, we defeat a gun enemy with a gun! Oh yeah, I forgot you can recharge heat by just breaking objects. We have a lot of them right now, so I'll do that after I'm done with this uh, uh, thing. That's always been such a weird thing to me. Like, I never realized it, I think, until I played Gaiden and people told me. I'm just thinking, like, does Kiryu, like, go... Yo, fuck this couch. Boom! Yeah, free heat. See? <laughs> Just... It's full again. Just like that. Uh... I do have a couple mods, yeah, but I'm not using any right now. I just have one straight to menu. Really appreciate that one. Yo, Yakuza 1 animation. Original one. Yeah, uh, the same person who made Straight to Menu, like, made it for pretty much every Yakuza game. Pretty good. Do you have a favorite boss after Yakuza 2? Me and my friends were arguing about whether boss characters peaked at Ryuji Goda. Ryu, like, Ry Ryuji is fine, but I mean, you have so many villains at this point. I think, like, you know, I'm like, I can't fucking talk. If you love Ryuji, you love Ryuji, but, I mean, you have Shishido, you have... Nintendo, you have the judgment bosses, you know? Yeah, you have Aizawa. You have Kido, you have Arai. Yeah, remember those guys? Munakata. <laughs> 
Mine. Was that fear or agony inflicted on them? Pretty sure it's agony. Shibasawa, yeah. Like, there's so many bosses. I don't know if I would say it peaked with Ryuji. Maybe, like, years ago, sure, but... You know... This is such a s small thing. Like, it's so stupid, it's not worth talking about. But I am stupid, so I'm gonna talk about it. You know how, like... Ryuji, like, goes on about a fair fight, blah blah blah. You fight him three times. And... Um... He just always lugs around this sword with him, fights you with the sword. Uh, like, I don't know, it just brought me the wrong way. Aizawa, who, who you would think would use that sword, did not use that sword. Shishido has every reason to use that sword. He, he like, he wants to kill Kiryu, that's it. And I thought that fit the narrative more than it did with the Ryuji. But yeah, again, this, this is such a dumb thing. Somiya, yeah, see, Somiya also had a good reason. He was basically blackmailed into, you know, defeating Kiryu. But Ryuji, like, again, not trying to diss Ryuji. I love Ryuji. I think uh, Dead Souls Ryuji is my favorite, by the way. I, I do say this sometimes. But Dead Souls Ryuji is just much better of a character. Um, I don't know. Like, you, you could argue, you know, it was his first game and so on and so forth. But also, like... Yakuza 2 gets a lot of praise because it was one of those games that was written by the crime novelist. Like Yakuza 1, OG 1 and 2. And that's a really cool fun fact. But I don't think, you know, it's as perfect as people say. But then again, what Yakuza game is perfect? That's the whole point. Yeah, Punk Ass Abe is also a great uh, selection. Thank you, Iwazaru. Oh yeah, you also have Shindo. Just... <laughs> betrayed the whole fucking Tojo clan for... MILF. Yeah, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> yeah, that, that was a funny fight. Funny in a way that I like, by the way. Uh, where was I? Wait! Are we ready? Wait, construction site? Is that gonna be the Watase scene? Wait, we're already there? Oh, wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Nishitani 2. Nishitani 2 first, right. Uh... Man, we're gonna get to it, like, very soon, ho hopefully. But that, that final fight with Shishido, dude, it's so powerful. What do they say? He's gone off the deep end. He's gone off the far end. I don't know. Yeah, guy just doesn't care anymore. Fuck you and your... Disbanding. I'll disband you, Kiryu. How about that? Oh yeah, I love Hayashi as well. I think he's one of the highlights of Yakuza 2. And 1. But 2 especially. A cornered animal, yes. Leon, would you cry on stream if you played Yakuza 8? Buddy, I would cry in this stream if there was a reason. And you know what? We already have a reason. But I don't know what I'm saying. Forget it. <laughs> No, you know what? No crying. I'll just play the fart unfunny sound and make everyone <laughs> hate me. <laughs> How about that? Uh... Yeah, if Yokoyama 
actually arrived in a helicopter right now and handed me infinite wealth, I would cry. This sub story is pretty cool. I like it. Wait, I wonder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know how if you're in uh, extreme heat mode and like you charge punch, like they fly away? If you do that one, do they just fly up into the sky? We gotta try that. What if they do that? Oh, oh my god, that, that would be amazing. Best game ever. Yeah, we need to try that. Uh No, not you, damn it. Uh. How didn't Kaito recognize Kiryu? True, this is the one game everyone recognizes Kiryu, he should have. Oh, there we go, there we go, okay. No! He goes a bit further away, that's it. Okay. Feels bad. Missed opportunity. Oh, whoa, damn, okay. With a Yakuza kick in extreme heat? Wait, Yakuza kick? Which one? You think there's a chance Kaito's in 8 as well? Yeah, why not? Just chilling in Hawaii with Yagami. Do you think we'll see Kawan in Hawaii with a new face, but he still vapes? And his identity is obvious. Yeah, maybe. Anything is possible. Didn't Famitsu show Kaito in 8? That was this game. Not the car. Whoa. Uh, Kaito stole his dropkick? No, that's the thug. Uh, sorry, brawler dropkick. It's not as good. Uh, 
Uh... Wait, we need further testing. One, two, three, four. Who? No, that's kind of lame. Yeah, like the only combo worth doing is the first one. What do you think of Sudo? I think he's a weird character. He's in 1, 2, 3, 4, does nothing the whole time. I thought he would end up being the villain. I think he, if that happened, he has the potential to be the wor one of the worst villains. Because, like, he's so bland. I like him. But if he were, if he was going to turn into a villain, like, what, what would it be? Like, <laughs> he would just be Monokata. Higashi! The goat! Munakata? Yeah, but with a helicopter. I do think Sudo is an example of like a wasted character. Um, he usually just showed up whenever like there's police presence, just as like a complimentary thing to that to Date. And in four, he literally showed up to be useless. Oh, Suguchi, got you now, haha! <laughs> no, Sudo, you don't have me. You see, the police can't do anything. Oh shit, you're right. My bad. Tanimura's like, bitch. Do something! Shows up in three Yakuza games, does nothing. Yep. What do you do, Amon and Gaiden? Who do you think is Amon and Eight? It could be anyone. I don't know. Also, I don't know if I'm going to do the ammo for this game. I mean, I don't think I can. I don't, I'm not sure. Who do you think is the scummiest character in all of Yakuza? Iwami is definitely up there. I would say Iwami, Nishitani the third. Um, see, I feel like this is where most of... Because of the writing, I think. Most of the older games don't have m many examples of that. Or what do you guys think? Just because I feel like the older games were, were written in a certain way. Like, yeah, you, you, you did have villains, but they were either, like, very, like, straightforward. Or, like, they redeemed themselves, or you know what I mean? Yeah, there's Jingu. True. Jingu. I would say Takashima, but I mean, he, he's a fucking walking meme. Like, what does he do? Shoot people? Yeah, I guess what? A lot of <laughs> villains in Yakuza shoot people. But yeah, Jingu, like, married Yumi, just ditched her and Haruka. Um, for basically just political gains. He does count, I would say. Hmm, yeah, Iwami is a guy, Kume. Tirada's up there for me, really? That's a surprise. Because, like, you know, Kiryu, please trust me. The bomb is not real. And all that. <laughs> Tarada was funny, yeah.
Arase? No, no, Arase doesn't count. You know why? Yakuza Online said he was he was not the one who shot Reina or Shinji. That was one one of their Nish, Nishiki family goons. Uh, Arase actually, um, I think he fought whoever shot uh, Reina. Can I mean yeah, can I sure? But like he he's funnier than he is scummy. If that makes sense, I don't know. Let me put it this way, like, if you were to compare Kanai to, for example, Iwami, I feel like there, there's like a contrast. <laughs> Andre Richardson was comically evil. Yeah, th that's basically what I mean. Richardson, Kanai was kind of comically evil. Kanai was too childish to be scummy. Iwami was also childish, but like in a... In a... How do I say this? A scary way, because like... <sighs> I, I don't know how to put this. I think you get, uh, get me. Um, man was childish enough to like shoot his own dad. Uh, kidnap a girl and her baby, put them at gunpoint, uh, beat the hell out of Kiryu, and basically, like, he was ready to kill all of them. Katsuragi. <laughs> uh, yeah, the young master is also a terrible guy, for sure, yeah. Waka. What, you didn't like- wait, wait. You didn't like Katsuragi's beaming forehead? Come on. He could deflect bullets with that forehead. Oh, wait. Mm, should I get the fourth slot? Does Arai count? I feel like the more we talk about this, the more we're going to get villains who, like, yeah, they're evil. But, like, there's just overwhelmingly more evil villains, you know? That's what we're talking about. Like, vile villains. The, the, the most vile. The scummiest. Arai is not there, I would say. What did Arai even do? <laughs> I know you're probably asking just like what evil deeds he did, but it sounds like what did Arai even do in his own game? <laughs> yeah, what did Arai do in his game? <laughs> True. Valid question. Um, Well, Arai sort of betrayed Akiyama. Uh, he shot someone at the beginning of the game. Uh, he betrayed Kido and then betrays Monokata. Shoots Shibata. <laughs> like, it's just funny. I don't know. I may or may not be biased, guys. Please forgive me. Arai disappointed Akiyama. That's enough. Yeah, yeah, tell him. You go, King. He's fat one truth about Kiryu, yeah. <laughs> what is this Arai slander, huh? You guys are gonna anger all... Arai fans that are out there somewhere. Okay. You're always late, Kiryu san. That's why these things always happen. Boom! Play the Vine Boom and all that. Soma is similar, but more fleshed out. Yeah, he's like a double agent, basically. Once he was with the Yakuza, then he was with the police, and then RK, and then like public security, and like... Damn, damn, Soma. You get around. Q 
people dropping names left and right and I can barely remember two of them. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Just ask chat. Yo, chat, who's this? And just watch chat give you the best um, reminder. Why did Kason get an appearance in Gaiden? She won the hostess competition. But because she was also number one, she got to appear in Yakuza 8. Who's Somia? The guy who beat his wife, yep. Yeah, Kason is the VTuber. What about Aoyama? He seems like the most believable person to actually betray the Tojo. I suppose, yeah, but like, A Aoyama is just so bland. Wait, YouTube is blocking you? I said this in the previous stream, but please, fellas, if you sometimes, like, if your messages get hidden, like, they don't show up here and all that, um, once this stream is done, comment down below, under this VOD, uh, I'll be able to add you as an approved user. Being an approved user, YouTube is never gonna hide your messages ever again. So... They finally added that feature. All you regulars. <laughs> Who is Aoyama again? Lama oh, hey. Hey. Don't talk smack about my Aoyama. Let me level up Higashi, actually. Are you winning, son? I'm winning. What? I dodged it. I can't add approved users from the chat. It has to be from comments. And you, Aline, didn't comment yesterday. What happened with that, huh? Didn't know you could charge attacks? I didn't know either. Someone told me. But yeah, it's nice to get some hyper armor from it during the charging. Yeah, wasted opportunity not to give him the uh, kickboxing moveset. I love milk. Nice. Super glob man. I love coffee. Personally. Dude, stop. Yo, drop pug. 777. Thank you for the dragon tier. Thank you. Oh, shit. No! No, Higashi, no! Don't die! I himself should be a playable character here. Yeah. Let him cook. Well. 
Isn't that the chef who exploded in Yakuza 3? No, might be his cousin though. Is there a way to check if we're approved? I don't think so, no. Like, it doesn't show up in chat. <laughs> this might be the best attack, actually. Because, I mean, look at that. Anyone agree that Higashi is the coolest judgment character? Oh, buddy. Yeah. I think Higashi is still like a top contender for having the coolest team in, in the judgment games. Flower of Chivalry. Now well, that's a top tier truck. Someone's up? Yeah, I think I did respond to them. Not the spear moveset. At least it's not Lao Kalong spear, you know? God, there is a... What was his name? The fucking Avatar Ang looking guy? In the Arcus of 3, 4, 5. With the staff, with Lao Kalong's moveset. Oh, fuck that guy. So annoying. He's like the, the final boss in um, the weapon tournaments. Like, he's the strongest, usually. Oh, do, can you fight him with Shinada in 5? Oh man, my condolences. But wouldn't Shinada be the best with weapons? Can he play as Higashi without the dagger here? With mods? Yeah, without mods, no. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Give me like... 5 minutes, is that okay? You can watch Majima dance. You can you can dance with him. You know why not? Dance with him. Keep him company.
Cut. May I have a couple more minutes to make coffee? Actually, do you guys want a quick stream or a long stream? If you want a long stream, allow me to make coffee, please. Yes? No? Oh, look at all the jigglers. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's what Majima's doing. Long, long, deal. Long, okay, okay, okay. Give me like three minutes. Stream yourself making coffee, bruh. You guys want to see everything? What kind of coffee? Oh, you'll see. Just let me go, please.
Boo! Did I scare you guys? I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry, I took a little more because I found a snack, actually. Someone brought a snack. So I had some. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Listen. That was a jump scare full of love, okay? Just look past it. We jiggling? We still jiggling? Okay. Okay. Bro. Isn't that an enemy in judgment? But like, looks completely different. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad. I'm sorry. But hey, like I said, long stream, right? That's... That's... Good enough compensation. <laughs> Listen, I do all these things because... <clears throat> what copy is it? Whoa! A copy of that, whatever that is. Um, I don't. It, it's not really special. It's like Nescafe with brown sugar and creamer. Uh, we ran out of creamer though, sadly. Sudachi. Out of curiosity, um, who in the chat plays or played Skyrim? I forgot that was brown sugar, yeah. Me, 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 me! Played it a while ago, Dova. Me, me. Mirac Gaming, okay. Have you guys heard of Nolvis? I know I talked about it already, but... Nolvis. A mod pack of over 2,000 mods. Um, I've actually gotten to get it working recently. And it's actually... It's pretty surprisingly good. Like, yeah, it's a massive undertaking. Like, honestly, if, if you have fast internet, which most of you probably do, but... Um, yeah, if you have fast internet, you can set it up pretty easily. And there's also... I thought you needed, like, an RTX 30 series at the bare minimum, but no, you can play it with, like, an RTX or GTX series 10. Uh, they have a lot of performance options. Do you play Persona games? No. Someone gifted me Persona, but I still haven't played it. Leon asking if he can become a Skyrim streamer. Oh, no, buddy. I can't. That mod pack includes uh, nudity. And if YouTube sees that, uh, they will unalive my channel. We can't have that. Not another Persona question. Play it, bro. <laughs> one day. One day I'll play it. Cyberpunk 2077 streams when? I think I've never seen more useless nudity options than Cyberpunk. It feels like they're just there to like be like, Oh, guys, look, we have nudity. <laughs> like, that's it. See? Wiener number one. Wiener number two. And that's all. There's no wiener number three, sadly. That game's biggest crime, in my opinion, is the lack of a third-person mode. There's so many customization options, but then... You can't look at that. Like, any of that. Unless... 
you do like photo mode, which like, I mean, yeah, that's cool, but I'm not gonna stop for photo mode every two seconds. No, no, I mean, f like, Cyberpunk is full, full on nude. Like, you have wiener physics and all that. Yeah, same for Baldur's Gate 3, but I didn't play that, so I don't know how it's like. <clears throat> Yeah, who cares about ray tracing? Wiener physics, that's where it's at. Hey Leon, what's your favorite Yakuza game? That's actually refreshing to hear because it's been a while, or it feels like it's been a while. Zero, seven, both judgment games. And I know you're memeing, Fabio. <laughs> I love how this guy mid fight just goes. Oh, fuck it, pulls out a gun. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you got asked about it yesterday? No, I didn't. Marcelo, stop having a good memory or fake news. Yeah, most modern games nowadays are like we have nude booba. Our game is so adult. Wow, yeah. <laughs> It certainly felt that way with Cyberpunk. Whoa! <laughs> nice. Okay, fake Ryuji. Leon, do some Saijima gaming. Should I? Do you guys really want Saijima gaming? Come on. Look at Majima gaming here. It's like... Saijima Gaming is like... Oh my god, okay. Okay! They want... <laughs> They're like, oh! We heard that Saijima... Um, slander. <laughs> Look at this guy! Has a gun. His best move? Kick. I want Daigo gaming. Let's do Saijima and then da uh, Daigo. Oh, Sadachi again. Yo, Carlos. Hope you have a good day too. Oh, wait. You didn't have a good day. Welcome. You came to the right place. Yeah, I, I don't have Segura yet. I don't know if we'll get him in this playthrough. Okay, Saijima? He's still not maxed though, so I gotta do that. Ay, ay, okay. Oh, look who it is. Whoa! Holy shit! Saijima, come on! 
You're supposed to be the tankier one here. Are you gonna com complete the Coliseum? No, no, it's not about that. I just want to farm money. RGG should remove the A to demo from Gaiden after release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, sh we should definitely have that option. Because, like, saving 24 gigs would be really nice. And I know there's going to be those fucking idiots out there like, Oh, bro. What, what are you, broke? Dude, oh, holy. You see the spins? <laughs> like, the fact that people say that unironically is like, Dude, shut the fuck up. I have like terabytes of footage in my PC for RGG, so it's like, you know, any space I can save would definitely help. Whoa, whoa, he's not okay. Yeah, Sajima, I mean, this is definitely the worst version of him. Okay, but you have Subway Surfer gameplay footage? No, we gotta add that to the pile. One whole terabyte for Subway Surfer. Does that, does that mean you have every RGG game installed at the same time? Yes. I uninstalled Lost Judgment recently, just because I needed space. Uh, for fucking Nolbus. But I'm gonna reinstall that when I can. Dude! God damn it! Have you been encoding videos in AV1? Yes, actually. Yes. That's why my streams lately look way better. Or at least I think they do. Like, whenever I go back to them, they look way better than they used to. I don't look pixelated anymore. You can actually see my face. Does Twitch support AV1? Surprisingly, no. But they're looking to implement that soon, I think. But they're also changing something with, like, the, the structure of streaming. And it seems like it's actually kind of worse. So I don't know how that's going to be like. I miss low res. Okay, okay. I see how it is, chat. Well. Who did I get these upgrades for, then, huh? <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, I mean, whenever I watch stuff, I usually just put 720p as well, or 1080p. I don't go above that. <laughs> yeah, what Aline just said. Is it safe to live stream Dead Souls? Yes, actually it is. Um, I have whole streams of Dead Souls. I think... Uh, I think I do have a monetized playthrough of it. So I know for a fact that I did the full playthrough, all cutscenes, all everything, but not monetized. Previously, I think even if you don't monetize it, it gets a worldwide block, but it doesn't do that anymore. And I still didn't get a notice from my stream yesterday, so... that That is monetized. Actually, hold on. Thank you, Isaac. High res bed, yeah. <laughs> the thing you've all been waiting for, I'm sure. You know what I hate the most? The fact that you get your entire vid video demonetized, not just the one segment. Yeah. I think Twitch, they always just mute that one segment. They Like, they don't completely shit all over your stream. They just, you know, mute that segment. And I really love that. Uh, YouTube started to implement that. But, like, I don't know. 
There's still work to be done. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday, yeah, that souls is monetized from yesterday. You should be good. Um, Yeah, if a video on YouTube is over six hours, YouTube is gonna say that's too long and he can't like mute anything. That sucks. To be fair though, like credit where it's due, YouTube has AV1. AV1, like, you guys are watching that right now. It makes the stream look so, so, so good. And they've started adding more, like, you know, stream friendly features. Like, uh,. You know, between all the gifting subs, and now they made it so that every channel can gift free subs, like 10, 10 gifted samples. That's what I did today. Um, Twi like on Twitch previously, or not previously, for a while, you can check out someone's <laughs> chat history, just to like get, get an idea of how they are, if, they, if you find themselves. And now, YouTube has that. Finally. So yeah, like, they're starting to add a lot of smaller stuff that I really wanted to see. Yeah, I heard about that tropical. Apparently, what's it called? U-Block Origin or whatever. That's better, and it doesn't do that. Oh wow, Jacob. What are tips to using Daigo effectively? Just do the full rush combo, dodge, full rush combo, dodge. Sorry, full rush combo without finishers. So just mash square four times, dodge, square four times, dodge, square four times, dodge. Rinse and repeat. And we, when you need to heal, circle um, while holding block. If they have a weapon, then you can't block that, but yeah. Yeah, I can track down the Yakuza 5 fans in chat now. Would you erase my history for $100? <laughs> the man who erased his history. Please check my history for 800 rupees. Uh, you know, to this day, I don't get the obsession of that message. For those who missed that, by the way, that happened on a Yakuza 4 stream. And for some reason, I still remember that it was on Saijima's part, when you're supposed to, like, find or craft, like, the, the chain hook thing to escape. Um... Some guy kept, like, begging me to die in-game, and that he would donate 800 rupees. And, like, he would keep going, like, every five seconds he would say that. So, you know, I, I did the obvious. Yeah, it's probably I did. We talked about that earlier, actually. Why, though? I have no idea. We'll never know. <laughs> but he just wanted me to die. That's all I know. Eight hundred rupees is almost nine euros. That's an average, like, super jet. Man, 
Man, Majima is so much quicker in, in the tournaments. But, but basically, Daigo is immortal. Like, he, he can't die. Because he can just keep killing him. It's kind of funny that Daigo is the one who can basically be immortal. Like, Sajima can resist death, but it's timed. Yeah, Bleed and also Majima is just an attack type. He has the highest attack out of all the three of them. Leon, will you ever wish to have a cup of coffee with Korada? No. You crazy? What about Yokoyama? Now that. <laughs> Sorry. I love Yokoyama. He's my favorite. He's a legendary meme. Yokoyama is my uncle. <laughs> A slice of pepperoni with Yokoyama, hell yeah. Imagine talking with broken ass English to Koroda. Imagine talking English to Eiji's voice actor. <laughs> like now that would be an interview. We do an interview with Eiji's voice actor, Nene's voice actor. And we just watch what unfolds. Bruh! These kicks. Yeah, we can also invite Richardson's voice actor. What was his name? Thomas Glover, I think. Leon, can you ask your uncle Yama to consider Tetsuki Mami? I've always told him, but, you know, can't do anything about that. Oh, Thomas Glover is the Ishin one, okay. <laughs> right. Characters did he use for Shin Ammon? Uh, what was that again? I think it was Jungi, Zhao, and Psycho, maybe? I think, I'm not sure. Hmm. Guys, who is... Yeah, who is... Clown! Ed's moveset, by the way. Yet another uh, missed opportunity. The four kings, yeah, the four kings of the Colosseum, you can't play as any of them. Like, why? They're right there. 
I really wanted to play as that Hokuto dude. With his low res, like, muscles for some reason. <laughs> You're gonna get through this whole game faster than I made it through the first two chapters? Yeah, well, to be fair, it's your first playthrough. Don't beat yourself up for it. Yeah, Ugajin. Yeah, like, I'm sure all of them would have been fun to play, but it is what it is. I wanted to get something, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> this would be nice, actually. But man, I'm limited on Akame points. Feels bad. Or maybe we could get another attack upgrade. I don't know. I feel like we have enough attack upgrades. Yeah, still no triple finisher. Trip like, th this is nice, but in uh, practice, it it's not... Most of the time, I don't land the third um, finisher. What about you guys? Kenny Omega? Mind at all. Is there an RGG character who's never been playable you want to play as? Well, that used to be Sunhe, but I don't know at this point. Do it for the kick. The, that kick especially almost never lands. But yeah, when it lands, it is sick. Let's just... Oh yeah, I wanted to actually upgrade the gadgets. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Does your cup say tea party? Wow, you guys, can I actually see that now? Like... <laughs> that's like the closest I ever brought it. How did you see that? The quality really must have improved, huh? Mm-hmm... Oh yeah, I was thinking of upgrading, uh, where is it? Yeah, this one. Wait... No, never mind. So this doesn't change anything for the, like, AOE cigarette move, does it? I don't think it does. I can even see the spider crawling in your bed right now. Nice try, Marcelo. <laughs> oh, God damn it! You think you're slick? Well, you're not. Oh, yeah, remember this guy having, like, the deepest voice ever? And the English dub, it's so weird. <laughs> like, the same guy voices three people, I think, in the game. Speaking of dub, I can get over the, the speaking voice in English, but the karaoke as well. Yeah, fair enough. An infinite 12. Oh, wait. Um, I wouldn't take the demo's dub quality to heart, because Yongi is singing in 
Gaiden was way better than whatever the hell we heard in the demo. I'm gonna guess, like, they were pressed for time. And, like, they just wanted to, like, push something out quick. Yeah, we, we, um, before we end the stream, we, 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 I can't speak. We might do karaoke. Um, I'll do, like, a couple songs in English, maybe. Why didn't they bring Daryl back? They never said anything officially. I, I don't think Daryl either, like, said anything. The sing see, the singing itself is good, but then I did hear people say, like, yeah, the singing is good, but they don't hear the Kiryu in it, if that makes sense. I'm like, yeah, I also get that. did reply to a comment about why he didn't come back, but it's kind of a non-response. Non-answer. I see. I didn't see it, I don't think. The last thing I saw of Daryl was him tweeting about football, I think. In the US. Maybe tuning stuff? Possible, maybe. Thank you, Shishido. Nice. Always a pleasure. Okay, so... You might be wondering... Oh, Leon! Your heat ran out. Yeah, watch this. Oh, oh, full already, baby. Just like that. Woo. What? What? Wait. Was that the guy's feet hitting me? Or was that the, the guy, the other guy's, like, soldier, uh, sword, whatever it is? Yeah. Maybe it is the sword. I don't know. But, like, I was looking at the guy on the ground, and it looked like his feet hit me while he was... You know, nice. We, we love, like, a stray hit. Nice. <laughs> this guy, he's like, oh, they hit you? Yeah, l let me let me add on to that. This fucking guy, dude. Is the stream skipping? Not on my end, it isn't. Anybody? Some lag. That's so weird. I think, now that you guys mention it, I think I did go back to a stream where there was a bit of a skip, and I, and I don't know why. OBS doesn't show any dropped frames for me at the moment, and I don't think I got any notification about the reconnection. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. I have no idea why that happens. That's so weird. Does that happen often, or was it just this time? I hope it's not like a frequent thing. 
Still doing it? Oh no. Wait, is this the thing Snowiest was dealing with? Maybe? Yeah, I wonder if it's YouTube. That's so weird. Hmm. It shows nothing wrong on my end at all. Yeah, YouTube's been really sus. Mega sus, if you will. Like, you know... I did also hear, like, you know, the, the whole ad block thing... Doing the stuff it does... It's not YouTube's fault, it's like the extension itself, but... I don't know. The ad block thing is not the only suspicious thing that's happening. The whole stream, like... I had hiccups. You guys have seen. When was it? The was it the Yakuza Six stream? I think no seven. Three disconnections out of nowhere, and one of them split my stream. Um, I do use AdBlock. Yeah, yeah. I deleted the one that I had though, um, because apparently it's not the best. My YouTube has been worse and I don't use that block. I play for premium. Yeah. Um I don't use app block on YouTube either. It's still like it still has these issues for some reason. Thank you, Shishido. Thank you, Shishido. Live YouTube HQ right now, yeah. The new CEO fighting against Tadblock is hilarious. Just the extent that they're going through is funny to me. The length, sorry, not the extent. Oh, maybe that also works. Yo, Outlaw, thank you for the 11 months, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so close to infinite wealth. So close. Silent love. Let me get some heat. So close to peak fiction, yep. Very close. Shishido, you fucking idiot. Stop! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, maybe this is foreshadowing. Based cigar, look! Just like the emote. Maybe I'm just too new to Yakuza games, but I didn't expect him to be help or betray us. I'm g again. I I'm just gonna go ahead and say I feel like this is this goes to show that the writing has come far since its beginnings. Um, I don't know if I expected Shishido to betray us, but like he did show some unhinged traits going through the story, so maybe that was supposed to be like the foreshadowing. But like, I don't know. I I do also love. I mean, we'll get to it, but. I do lo love how his betrayal scene has you questioning, like, wait, wh what is this guy talking about? Like, is he with us now or not? And, like, it takes a minute until it uh, kicks in. 
saw the turn coming. Yeah, fair enough. Like, I'm not saying it's impossible for anyone to see it, but like, it's more so I'm saying if we saw this twist coming, then the twists of like, I don't know, the first few Yakuza games must have like, must have been as subtle as a brick to you, you know what I mean? Well, there goes his office. Yeah, like, the reasoning isn't, you know, I don't know myself. You know, for all the memes that I do or say about Aizawa, like, yeah, I, I know there's more to it than, oh, I don't know. God, this is such a go-to track. I love it. And this quick time event is so cool. Look at that face. Damn. Oh, no. Oh! Yeah, the laugh. It's so perfect. Shishido, you seeing this shit? Yeah, look, look. That's called juggling. Maybe it's gonna help you in the final fight against me. How about that? Whoa. Oh, that, that flash was perfect. <laughs> oh no. Guys, I smell a death. I don't know what it is, but something tells me someone is dying. Like right now. Right now, this scene. Flash was a paid actor, yeah. <laughs> That flash grenade comes out of this scene. A hundred thousand yen richer. Same, Jacob. The toy knife was uh, unexpected, to say the least. Do you think we could get a Ryuji Gaiden game? Absolutely. Anything is possible. I mean, look at that. The sound, the blood. <laughs> See, now this is convincing, not Yakuza 4. Oh, let's look at the bullet hole. There's no blood at all. Oh, no. That guy totally isn't alive. You know? This is what I mean when I say progress. At least they make it look believable. And like, look, like, you know, just how much, how passionate he is about what he's saying. He sounds genuinely upset. He's a good actor, yeah. Better actor than Katsuya. Actually, though, like he had us fooled. Another element to it, Suruno. Now, you know, we find out Suruno was actually completely intending to kill Nishitani. So we think, okay, well, you know, Shishido probably really is in on, uh, in on it. And I feel like even if you think he's going to betray us, it's probably not for the reason you think it is, or like not the way you think it turns out to be. You probably wouldn't expect for Nishani to come back, or like, to team up with Shishido. I do like this scene as well, though, because like, it does show that Suruno is not, I mean, you know, he's a Yakuza boss, so... I'm not saying, oh, what a wholesome little bean, but also, you know, th this, this whole little story is really nice and like, contributes to... Just making him a great character. 
よその組のことやっちゅうのにどっから聞きつけたんか多分うちの親父にええ格好したかったんやろ俺が見逃すつもりなんもみんなお見通しやった Everyone was a good actor except for Jorio. I mean, Suruna was not acting here. But yeah, other than that, yeah. The goons are technically acting, by the way. They're like, yeah, we did it. Yeah, for being like a Yakuza boss, he does have, like, morals, at least. How long do you think Shishida and Nishitani were working together? All along. All along. Years, even. Years! Doooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
Meet with Hanawa, okay. Leon, what time is it for you? It's about to hit 12 a.m. The 18th. And then it's gonna be what? Uh, a week? Less than a week away from Infinite Wealth? Yeah, if if um, if we don't want spoilers, I just we talked a lot about spoilers actually. So I don't know how he didn't get spoiled yet. Real, less than ten days. Yeah, less than ten days. Real. Oh, okay, okay. Empty chair. Look, Nishtani took a stream break. لماذا لا تستريح؟ استريح عفوا عليك. Yeah, social boner. Lift your head already, buddy. I forgive you. I forgot that this, this was an option. Oh, oh, this is it. Okay, well, here's what I'm thinking, guys. We finish the game now, and then we go to my actual, like, main save, and we can just mess around. How about that? Let's go. Let's go. Oh boy. Wait, is this? Oh, okay. Like a dragon infinite wealth leak. Do not look. Kiryu is in it. What? Do you think they'll tell us Hanawa's Morinaga in infinite wealth? We already know it, but maybe. I think- oh, oh damn, okay, I think I have enough heals. Wait. Oh, uh, the Peter Griffin scene. お待ちしておりました。親父も時期到着です。今出所してこっちに向かってますわ。ヨガヨなら盛大に迎えるとこやけど、無所での出迎えは禁じられてます。それは大見連合若頭でも同じ。Does Morinaga still being alive redeem Aizawa even a little bit in your view? Um, I I suppose yeah. Like, I don't know what was the point of him mentioning that to begin with. It just further adds on to the he doesn't know <laughs> meme. <笑>急に落ち着いたか。長年会った極道の組織と歴史を俺らだけで幕引く言うんです。頭が緊張せえへんのでっか。しとるかもしれんけどもう腹は決まっとるからな。お前気ぃつけろや。親父の前でそんな
お帰りなさい鶴の獅子堂ようやったな The fact that he's wearing shoes with no socks as well. <laughs> like, or at least it looks like there's no socks in there. This really does look like a full on cutscene. Uh oh. Shishido, what are you doing? See, like, at first he looks like he's just messing around a little bit. Like, see, everybody's snapping pictures these days. And then. <laughs> Kiryu, just standing emoji. Shishido, eyes up here, buddy. I love how what to say is just like, oh, okay, so you're, you're against us. Like he didn't throw a fit, he was just like, okay, well, this is happening. First time playing this Yakuza? No. No. <laughs> You know, part of me wishes at least what I say took off his shirt here. It is a big fight after all. Yo, Cyan Boss 27, thank you for the two months. That's a, a valid theory. Okay, let's do this. People say this does nothing, and I'm like, are we playing the same game? Like maybe you throw it to the to the like to the side where there's nobody. Like yeah, of course it's not gonna do anything. Or like maybe whoever says that is like, oh, look, I have one attack upgrade. It's not doing anything. Well, yeah, obviously, <laughs> like, you know, maybe upgrade your attack a little bit. I swear to God. People play these games the wrong way. Or like, it's just very basic stuff. Like, it's not even, oh, like, jump up and then, like, go left. And, like, it's not really that complicated. And then they'll be like, oh, this game sucks. Yeah, maybe play the game, <laughs> like, the way they taught you.
Du, du, du. I almost never use the drones. Are they actually good? Oh yeah, when you use them in extreme heat, the, the, it's like a million drones. Do, 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 do. It's like um, in Yakuza 6 and Kiwami 2. People get like 300 attack and they're like, oh, this game is too easy. Yeah, I wonder why. What? what? Wait, what? Oh, shit. The fact that this guy didn't die from this is something, but then again, it's Yakuza. Like, not just this, like, you know, the, the scene that happens after this as well. Excuse me, fellas, don't mind me. Passing through. Yeah, the Tekken combos. This is why Kiryu deserves to be in Tekken. He would be perfect. Oh, there's still a gun guy. Hey, buddy. Whoa, okay. Speaking of Tekken, how would you design a fighter from, from your country to play as? Uh, I don't think I'm the best person to ask, actually. I don't know. I think Shaheen is good enough, just in general, for like the Gulf countries. But it would be nice if they gave him more than like two paragraphs, two l sentences even to read. Because like they did that with him in Tekken 7, and then there was a whole like discussion on Twitter going on about how he's like the most boring character and he didn't deserve to come back. Um, when it's again, it's it's just like Tekken Seven did the, the like all the side characters so dirty, and I get it. Tekken is about the Mishima family, but they could have done it way better. I for, I don't like Shaheen. I forget he's there. Yeah, guess why? Because. Tekken themselves, like, don't even give him anything. They're like, yo, look, Arab character, representation, am I right? That's about where it ends. There's no story. Like, th there's nothing. Of course he's gonna be boring as balls. Everyone is gonna be boring as balls when, like, all of the story is just Kazuya, Heihachi, and Jin Kazuma. Like, come on. I heard from some people that his Arabic sucks or something 
It's not that it sucks, it's very formal. And basically, most people don't talk like that in Arabic. It, like, it depends on the country. Look, look at this beast. The beast. Not even phased. Exactly, Manizia. I did hear uh, Rashid in Street Fighter is better. I didn't play Street Fighter 5 a lot. Or 6. Like, I didn't see enough of him. But I did hear he's a better character than Shaheen. But that's most likely because they gave him, like, an opportunity to shine, unlike Shaheen. Shaheen, again, just got, like, what, two sentences? Oh, my friend, Kazuya, you, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you see the pog face? Oh! Good job, Hanawa. <laughs> Perhaps he went a little overboard. He was basically the main character in Street Fighter V story, really. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. On one hand, you have an Arab character that's potentially the main character. And then you have Shaheen, who, like, here you go, guys, enjoy, like, the one-minute cutscene of him. Yakuza is... Sorry, not Yakuza. I, what, what is wrong with me? Tekken 7. Again, two-hour story mode, and then, like, side stories for everyone else. Just, just, you know. I feel like even in comparison to older Tekken games, where, where you know, everyone has just, like, a minute cutscene, it was so well done. Like, it was so unique. It's not just, oh, fight this guy here, and then you have a conversation. I really do miss the old arcade mode, where, like, you have eight stages, and, like, in the middle, there's either, like, a special enemy or, like, a story encounter. Tekken 5 did that, and I loved it. Tekken 4 as well, uh, but Tekken 5 more so. Um, and, yeah, I think they really need to do that again. But I feel like the, most of the focus now is just, like, you know, the FGC scene. The competitive scene. Oh, how do we, how do we make sure... Martial laws, balls, juggle this opponent. That's how it is now, unfortunately. But hey, maybe Tekken 8 story is gonna be like a big step up from 7, we'll see. <laughs> hey, Surono Ni, nice. Damn, look at that leg! Mm -hmm. Not to be technical, but the name Shaheen isn't even Arabic, it's Persian. Hey, maybe he has Persian descent, you never know. Bodyguard Kiryu. What do you think of the Mortal Kombat story mode? I'm not really into Mortal Kombat so much. Like, I know of the franchise. I played some of the games in the past, but I'm not too involved in it. Nice, Fiend. What do you have Oh, you didn't miss the forklift because the game kept crashing. So we just kind of did whatever. <laughs> oh, by the way, speaking of representation... Um... Have you guys seen Eddie's new design? I've seen a lot of black people who are not happy with that design. Because, like, they gave him the, you know, the good old, like, what do you even call the haircut? The Miles Morales, I think, haircut? It's like, I definitely see what they mean. Yeah, the meme haircut. 
Like sheesh, dude. See, this is why I hate it when companies pretend they give a shit about representation and just representation in general. Like, yeah, it's cool when you see a character who you can, you can, you know, you can kind of relate to, but if it if they make it a point to like represent, I don't know. I feel like it goes to shit. I've seen this again and again, not just you know with Tekken. I don't, like, God, it's so frustrating. But I'm so glad to see black people talk about that, because, like, you know, it is frustrating. I feel this way, um, with uh, Shaheen, sort of. I'm Puerto Rican, I don't think Miles represents. See? Like, yeah, pandering, like, man. Maybe this is a controversial statement, but I do miss when there was more creativity over pandering. Um, it, like, it allowed for games to truly, like, um, stand unique from each other. Do you think Yakuza lacks Asian re representation? Yeah. <laughs> Gary Buster Holmes is peak crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. But, yeah, you know, I'm saying that as a person of color, so I do think I do sort of have the right to say that. Um, I don't know. Representation is only good when people... When it's made by people who are passionate about what they're representing. Yeah, either that, or if it's done by someone who's actually, you know, from that, um, country or whatever. Someone will just throw and say, you're white, Leon, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm white, yeah. <clears throat> Am I crazy, or is this steering wheel on the wrong side? Is it? I know that some countries have theirs on the right and some on the left. The lightning looks off, does it? Oh, I see, I see. How do you guys even notice that? I'm like, <laughs> I'm just chilling in here, guys. Wait, th that steering wheel. Like, damn. Damn, you guys, damn. Like, あなたはこの先も大道寺のために働いていただきます。必ず生きて戻るように。ああ。うんうんうん。There it is. Did we talk about it again? The difference in like the tone of the scene. Oh, look at them. Look at them. I talked about this with Seven, but again, like the the colors being different or like the shading and all that in, in this scene compared to Seven does so much to differentiate the feel of the cutscene here and there. This scene looks so much better in this game. I've seen people say the opposite. It's just one of the, like, I think both look fine. This, like, it looks darker here, and then in 7 it looks more, like, bright and colorful. It's more contrasted here. Casually walking to a meeting with a knife stab, yeah. Only Watase would do that. Kaisan 
What do you think of the new Prince of Persia? I didn't play it, and I don't plan to. <laughs> yeah, they did what I said dirty in five with the fight. <laughs> There they are, watching the whole thing. Popcorn in hand. Yeah, they did Katsuya dirty as well. Blink, what are you blinking at? Actually, this is a perfect time for me to take a break. You guys enjoy this for the time being. なるほど。ないや、面白いことになってきましたな。で、今天道の横におる<笑> ちがたぎるってもんじゃねえか。始まりますね。うん。狙われるのは渡せと大悟だ。誰も近づけさせる。くそ。いい加減にさらせ。渡せ。Saijima's gonna... No, so... Oh. This guy. Please. Everybody in the room heard that. Yeah, it took this long for someone to recognize Kuya. Can, can you believe that? He's done such a good job staying hidden. Oh, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Did it skip again? 
Are we good yet? Let me know if we're good. Please. Please. Are we good? No skip on my end. Okay. See? See what that means, chat? Get better internet. All of you. Yeah. It's all your fault, not me. <laughs> Did you play Streets of Kamuro? I did, but not in this subathon. What is Saiko doing in the background though? Reviving teammates with kisses. What else? And throwing hands. Dude, have you seen some of the moves she has in 7? She literally has a Hokuto move. It's actually pretty good. I love it. Yeah, Ichiban casually calling the orbital laser <laughs> over here. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Sorono, no. why is the building... And then they die. God, that would be funny. So yeah, this is a full-on cutscene here. In 7, it was uh, an in-game cutscene, I think. It's not... Daigo, please. I love how Watase keeps the act. Yeah, I'll try to remember that grab thing. As they Oh shit, we can listen to Fading Away at the end of this. I'm so excited for that. As days go by. Oh, we're about to see peak. Nobody knows me. <laughs> no, fading away is surprisingly not copyrighted, and I love, love RGG Studio for that. Thank you. Best thing ever. Thank you. Here we go. The start of peak. I love this scene so much, like, especially this bit. Because the last time we saw these guys talking casually to each other, like, it's been a while. And it's not super extensive, but, you know, it's something. I love it. Oh, Looks like they just came back from a school trip. Yeah, it does. 
Variga. Thanks, but no Gigas. thanks. Giga chat. <laughs> Who needs food? Hey Leon, any tourist attractions in Bahrain? Of course! We got the Tree of Life, we got the, uh, what's it called? The Adari, uh, what's it? No, wait. What's it called again? Uh, we have a couple of museums, we have a couple of castles, um, we have Formula One. I think there's a zoo. <laughs> look, look, look. Suruna's face. <gasps> Bro walked all the way here. <laughs> I love how we were joking about that when we, when we were playing 7. Like, d during the speech, people were like, Oh, Shishido's on the way right now. ETA, 15 minutes. Omae, <laughs> mother. Leon's house? Oh, you guys. Google Earth barely shows any of that in Bahrain. Well, Bahrain is the size of a cardboard box, maybe that's why. I never used Google Earth, I don't know how it works, so... Yeah, Ichiban right now just chilling inside. Or actually, I think they left at this point in time. I'm not sure. Because, like, if he's still inside, then... Um, we probably would have run into him at some point. Uh-oh. This. This is so good. God damn. Remember, like, sometimes we have cutscenes where the characters get weakened on purpose, right? And some of them are definitely bullshit, like, you don't believe it at all, at all. Like, you know, Yakuza 4 Sajima gets captured by, like, five, ten goons. Um, with the help of, like, a Coliseum, um, dude. And then here, like, it's, it's still, like, it's not the most unbelievable thing, but, like, you know, it's an improvement. It's an improvement. Yeah, Majima alone can definitely take him, but it made for a really cool shot to have Saijime there, too. Yeah, Manis, that, that's basically what I was just saying. At least it looked cool. At least I think so. <laughs> Man, is the Omi full of Giga Chads like this? Just Watase shrugging off a stab wound, and then Shishido just pulling out a knife from his hand. And then you have Katsuya. Oh yeah, Shishido's tattoo is awesome. Do you think Ichiban's party would stand a chance against Shishido? Well, there's a conversation to be had there. Yo, Johnny Juice.
八幡さん盛り上がってきたなだからこうなる前に黙らせようとこれでいいは全部吐き出させなきゃあいつらだって受け入れられやしねえよ獅子堂も西谷も言ってみりゃ王道のヤクザだ力を誇示して周りを操りてめえの欲望と野心を満たすためにはレオン、who's your favorite final boss? I'm gonna say mine is Shishido. I love everything about this fight. Shishido is definitely like a like top three contender, probably.、Uh, I don't know who I would pick if I had to choose one, honestly. Because I love Tendo as well. Tendo, Shishido.、Um, I don't know who I would pick for the third one. <laughs> Oh, are we, are we counting the judgment games as well for this? If we are, then yeah, Koroi was up there too. Kuan is pretty good, but I found Koroi what we like better than him. The, the problem is, if you include the judgment games, suddenly 80% of the picks are going to be from the judgment games. <laughs> it's just, it's like you can't help it. There, there's so many good things in judgment. But, 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 let's just focus on this right now. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Man, this is so good. <laughs> yeah. At the moment, right now, this might be the top one dynamic intro for me. What about you guys? Koroiwa got dethroned. Sorry, Koroiwa. Between this and between、uh, Shishido's as well. God damn, look at them. The legends. This is my male fantasy, same. I was like, wait, grass? Is that the heat action? Just grass? No, grass. Whatever shall I do? Go, Saijima. Go, go. The tiger knee. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was the touch grass heat action for the enemies. Holy spin, god damn.、Uh, what? What the hell was that? Alright, that does it.
You know, I really wish the... You know the co-op uh, heat action? Nyakuza, the, the knee one? Between Kiryu and Akiyama? I wish that was the, the one they had here. Because it's just so much better than both of the ones they have here. How easy would you say Professional is compared to Hard or Legend? Uh, we... I, I talked about Professional difficulty when we were talking about the lack of Legend in this game. Professional equates... To, like, equals just... Uh, Legend. Like, they deal so much damage to you. Clowns mentioned? Mm. Even though we just met. Yeah, yeah. If it helps you sleep better, Kiryu. Do you think New Game Plus is for Gaiden is not happening? If it was gonna happen, it would have happened by now. It would have arrived with uh, the dub update, but I mean, Infinite Wealth is like in a week. It's not happening. I love that he acknowledges, like, yeah, he got to sit, he, he got to sit at the top of the Tojo throne, even if it was for a minute. <laughs> a minute. The title drop. Kiryu would have been a horrible leader. He would have re reformed all of the Yakuza members. Kiryu is such a hypocrite in this debate. He is, yeah. I love how, like, the games go on, he becomes more and more of a hypocrite. Which, I mean, you know. Maybe there's a lesson to be learned there. Kiri, yeah, he basically always flips between, yeah. I'm not a Yakuza, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a civilian, but then he goes back to, at heart, I'm always a Yakuza, <laughs> or like, I've always been a Yakuza. Um, you know. Yakuza 5 had a lot of that, actually. And then I think 6 as well, I'm not sure. But 5, like, 5 Kiryu was all about that. My problem is just Kiryu gets to live the dream he did not Shishido of, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I do get what you mean. <laughs> oh. Okay, gotta listen to this. Look at that face. Wait, let me raise the game volume.
Wait, can I buy... There we go, now we're talking. We got the good stuff. Not that move. Unprofessional, that can almost one-shot you. I love how ever since Shishido dropped, everybody shits on Aizawa so much, it's not even funny. Like, damn, guys, come on. Break the game, do this. Okay, perfect. I think he still has quite a bit to go. Health bars, I mean. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh no. Leon, can you download the boss replay mod and fight Shishido as a minimum wage worker? <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> I don't know.
The Daigo throwback. Oh yeah, I forgot to let him grab me for the heat action. Ah, uh, someday we'll get it. Someday. JJ, JJ. Nanyo, Miyoro story. So that's it for the mainline games? No, we finished the mainline games with seven actually. This is a community choice. This, Dead Souls, and Tomorrow is all community choices. Now we're not stopping the count yet because I'm not done with the game yet. We'll play a bit more. I love this, by the way. Oh no! They turned their back! What's gonna happen? Surely there's no gun nearby. Oh, what to do? Oh no! Oh! But actually, no. <laughs> oh, this scene is so good. You thought, but it wasn't. Yeah, the Yoshimura jump scare. <laughs> God damn. Also, the, did you see how red his eyes were? God damn. That's so good. Yeah, th this is just slightly <laughs> tragic, I would say, because, like, you know, Shishido and. Oh, look at his face, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, what was uh, what was I saying? I um, th th that whole scene is slightly tragic because, like, yeah, Shishido is not exactly a good person, and especially Nishitani. But you know, they basically just were taken as like. Slaves there. Yo, Mr. BBW lover, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I gave, I always give Ryuji a lot of respect in Dead Souls. But man, that's such, dude, I, uh, God, where do I start with this? It's such a cool idea. Like, stolen to just, like, work for this mysterious faction for God knows how long. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. I love that they did this. Shishida was saved from trafficking by the Omi too, as well, right? I don't know. Well, we know that he was some some kind of a slave under Nishitani as well, but... Oh, and look, they tease us with this. Ah, uh, if only. Yeah, that's two times now where Shishido becomes a slave to something. But you know the beauty of it? Nishitani gets to get a taste of that. Finally. Yeah, a lot of people were hoping we would do the Ichiban fight in this game, but, you know, alas. Um, I, I think we got something 
Possibly, like, way better than that fight. You know? I'll take it. Impossible fight since you wouldn't be allowed to hit Saeko, yep. What if, just for the memes, they do let you do that fight, like, here, and, like, uh, you know, right after the final fight? Um, but, like, everyone has, you know, goo and HP. <laughs> like, it, it's so anticlimactic, it's unbelievable. I think people wouldn't even be mad with that. They'd just be like, yeah, you know what, yeah, that makes sense. That's actually what happened. ついでに私個人としては命も救われているそれを仮のままにしておくのはあまり気持ちいいものじゃありませんそこでまずはこれをお見せすることにしましたエ hey, would you say for first timers of Yakuza should play Gaiden before 7? For the sake of being chronological? No, no. Um, I mean, you know, I'm not one to choose what someone starts with, but... Uh, I, I think this game has more impact if you were to play it after 7. Haruto-kun was 4 years old. It's a nice one. Did you cry in this scene? Why do you think I hit the webcam? You guys don't want to see me right now. Just kidding, no, I, I kind of... I, I was a bit of a memester. Uh, in my first playthrough. Just to like, you know, hide the pain. <laughs> uh, look at Mini Hamura, right there. Sleep well, buddy. Is that the girl that steals money in 3? No, it's the girl who gets her money stolen. It's also the girl that runs away from the orphanage and you have to like chase her all across uh, the UQ. AKA the fastest person in the whole game. Faster than Mac himself. コージ、みつおりおなえり。みんな元気だし、それに実はみんなおじさんが死んだなんて信じてなかったりする。本気でだよ。おじさん。俺消防士になったんだ。何かあってみんなが勇気を出せないでいる時。真っ先に人を助け
please follow me on Twitter. Uh, like and share and subscribe. Thank you. Uh, if only Nagoshi didn't leave. Kiryu never would have cried. <laughs> Fucking woke Kuza, am I right? Yeah. What is this shit? あ、<笑><笑> Yeah, Kiryu's tears in three were fake news. Anyway, guys, like and follow for more Rage Bait, please. Um, I'll make sure to, uh, you know, waste my life on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my uh, Twitter talk, all two of you. Thank you. <laughs> <笑>監視対象に奪れた以上妥当な判断ですそうだなあなたにこの映像を見せることが果たして褒美になるのか検討をしましたいや見せてくれて感謝する<笑> How did Hanawa not start crying listening to this? You know for a fact that he wanted to cry, but you know. You know. Searching for Infinite Wealth videos on YouTube was kind of impossible without culture war bullshit about Young Ye. Yeah, from people who didn't play who didn't play any Yakuza game, mind you. I didn't even, you know, grace the videos with like a view, but Gokudoni did just tell me, like yeah, I watched one of those videos. It literally starts with, by the way, I don't play Yakuza, but, you know, sorry, not Yakuza, Yakuza. I don't play Yakuza, but, like, you know, Young Gear, yeah, this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. Drama YouTube and, like, rage bait YouTube is so bad, dude. I hate it. <laughs> This kid can draw better than me, same actually. My drawing skills suck ass. Yakuza is now ruined because of young gear. Okay, then play in Japanese or Chinese. No. Are you crazy? Who would do that? The better option is to obviously, like, rant about something I don't understand and ignore the options that I have. This line. Oh, this line. Carry you, buddy. It's okay. You're gonna have Ichiban there for you in Infinite Wealth. Also, shout out to Monk, dude. True homie. True homie. ここで座禅する以外やることもね。そういえばあなたには花輪さんが休暇で旅を進めてましたな。もう上にも話は通ってますよ。休暇の期限は決まっています。You know, this guy game in particular just works so well because it's, you know, it's, how do I say this? It, it goes a very specific direction 
Like, it sets up infinite wealth, but also it, uh, like, addresses multiple things with Kiryu. So, it does make me think, like, if they were to make future Gaiden games, say, for example, and then they go back to a character that died, like, say, I don't know, Mine, Ryuji, is that gonna hit as hard, you know what I mean? Like, Kiryu has so much to him, you could probably, I, I don't want to say easily, but you could make a great game with Kiryu. Um... But like, how would a Ryuji or a Mine game end if like if we are, you know, talking about emotional impact? It's most likely not gonna be as hard hitting as this. You know? But hey, maybe we don't need like a super emotional ending. Akiyama Gaiden would be better. Well, yeah, but like, what would you do with Akiyama in a Gaiden? Protect Haruka again? Yeah, Hana was a good man. Have him cry about Lily, yeah. <laughs> Spend money and sleep, play on a couch for 10 hours, yep. That's an Akiyama game. Yeah, speed, uh, we didn't, absolutely. Get yelled at by Hana, maybe. Do you prefer original Kiwami? Uh, do you prefer original or Kiwami Ishin? Neither. I'm not a fan of Ishin in general. It's a good game, but like... It's like C tier for me. Leon, make Lad Gaiden fan made intro song. And then use them fading away. Uh, didn't Judgment Kazi do, do that already? Sort of. He did, yeah, he did. Yeah, the Morinaga reveal. What did he mean by that? わたしもあなたと同じなんです。何がだ。新たな人生を手に入れるために自ら名を消した男の一人。要するにまだまだあなたの知らない秘密があります。もう。ストーリーオブマイライフ。<笑> Yeah, the Morinaga, the man who erased his name to too. There you go. That's the sequel. Yeah, Yokoyama basically confirmed that Hanawa is Morinaga. The way he did it is so funny as well. Like I think a cosplayer walked up to him and was asking him about it. And then he's like, Yeah, you know, you mean Morinaga, right? Oh wait, is it? Oh, okay, we gotta listen to this. Wait, 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 wait. Loves me, remembers me anymore. I'm fading away, even I don't belong to you. Those days are far behind, but I pray you're happy now. Serenity in, in your mind. mind. I'm leaving right now. Leon, get up and hit the gritty. No. <laughs> I'm only breathing. 
Look at all these legends. Look at them. Yeah, why is the music dubbed? Yeah, this music is not copyright material, surprisingly. But watch that change tomorrow, because I said that. Thank you, Kira. Thank you, thank you. Okay, did, did this song shoot up to anyone's, like, top one uncontested um, license track? Don't worry about the timer, guys. Don't worry. I didn't forget about that. The music... Yeah. S some weird company in uh, Turkey is going to be like, Yo, we own this song. God, what a good song, dude. Oh! What do we have here? Infinite Wealth! I have the game, guys. Yumi character development, yeah. <laughs> what if some guy just wa like walks up, takes the ring, and like sells it to a like I don't know. And <laughs> like an Ibisu pawn shop or something. You know, what What if? Alright. Like a dragon guide then, guys. Um, I am not fully done yet. Uh, but before we continue, I want to do something. Very specific. If you don't mind. Do you guys mind? You don't mind, right? I'm leaving right... Oh yeah, the volume, thank you. I'll change that when we get in again. Uh, no, we're not going to the 8 demo. We're gonna be playing Gaiden still, but I'm just gonna do something. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Sayonara. Kirish is going to see the ring in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna try out the naked curio mod. Is that okay with you guys? Don't tell YouTube, okay? Please. Keep it between us. 
evading away. Okay, I wanted to just like play a little more. Uh, we'll do a karaoke. Maybe we'll do a bit of Coliseum as well. Uh, hold on, let me change the outfit again. Or maybe not. It looks good. A shout out to Yakuza Serbia if they're here. Uh, they made this uh, mod for me. Luis, yeah, I'm Luis. Luis. RE4 guy, then, yep. Lucy, oh god, no. Please! We had enough of Lucy today. If there's actually someone in chat called Lucy, I'm sorry. I don't mean you. I mean something that happened earlier today. Okay, I hope this indoor music doesn't screw me over. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Imagine if karaoke... Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm so sad they took that feature away. It was so good in the Yakuza... Four, I think three, four, Dead Souls, five. But it's gone. Gone forever. Yeah, imagine if there was a Spanish dub. Would have changed this. This is so sad. Can we get a feels weak man in chat? Feels weak man. Pocket circuit fighter. By the way, am I tripping, or did they show Itsuko in Infinite Wealth in Dund Dunduko Island? Did they? Oh, now this is a... Buckle up, this is a long one.
Hundred? Do you really think eight is seventy hours plus story-wise? The thing is, like, it heavily depends on a lot of things. Uh, maybe like an average playthrough overall might hit seventy hours, like you know when you like doing a good amount of side stuff. But like, if you were to like try to rush through the story, you know, whenever possible, I feel like it's gonna be what forty hours. Like, you know, you watch the cutscenes and all that. Maybe 40 to 50 hours. We'll have to wait and see. And also, the whole thing about the size of Hawaii. They said, like, what? It's almost four times the size of Yokohama. From what I've seen in the demo, it seemed more like three, give or take. But also, from the demo, we can we know that there's a lot of, like, indoor places. Like, you know, malls and all that. So maybe... You know, if you add up, like, the floors and all that, maybe it really is, like, four times the size of Yokohama. All, or, like, almost. Um. Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> that trauma, yeah, will help. 16 times the detail. Never forget that. Animating this was amazing. I'm glad they did that. It's amazing how much better the, like, the song seems just because of that. Guys, 
guys, hear me out. Hear me out. What if Nishiki does come back in in eight? And like at a moment when Kiryu really needs someone. And like they make it the most badass scene ever. Yo, Kiryu, missed me? Will conflict with Ichiban since they sound the same. Ah, who cares? <laughs> you know, not, like no, no, Nakaya is gonna like change the tone a, a little bit, like the the pitch. <laughs> Nish Nishiki is gonna be like a little deeper. <sighs> a hundred. Sayonara. <laughs> yeah, Jet. You kind of sound like me, no you. Gotta concentrate, gotta get that hundred. Silent love. Silent love. What do you think RDG will revive an eight? <laughs> Richardson, come on. <laughs> I know, that, that, that's a meme answer, but I mean... A hundred? Okay, no way I'm getting a hundred on this one. Unless... If you get a hundred in Ichizu, I will shit my pants. I absolutely have to do it then. Gotta see that shit stain. Mm -hmm. 
Fuck, I got a good. I got another good. What? <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god, this song. That, see, go back and rewind a little bit. That one part where I like lost, like missed something, it's so bullshit. It actually is. Is the last Road to Infinite World stream now? Oh, come on, guys. Don't be sad. It might end soon, but... It's all about the memories, right? Like, you know? There's gonna be one more stream tomorrow. I think that's a hundred. A hundred in every song, except that fucking cursed one. See? Every song! Every song! Um. Oh, you guys, don't be sad. I'm happy... Well, you know, I'm glad that you guys really enjoyed these streams so much, to the point where, you know... Um, it's kind of sad seeing these go away, but hey, Infinite World is around the corner, you know? Yeah, this might go, but Peak is coming soon. You know? You know? Peak is coming soon. Re oh, look who it is. The real Infinite Wealth were the infinite friends we made along the way, yeah. See? Always a bright side. Never saw that load screen before? Yeah, there's a bunch. Man... How many streams are we gonna have with Infinite Wealth? Like, Gaiden is one thing, but then you have... Infinite wealth. <laughs> like, that's gonna be insane. Real, real, real. Man, it looks so much better here if you don't use, uh, what's it called? DLSS. Real, 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 real. Yeah, who the fuck is that? That, that ain't Joryu. It is Joryu. Look closer. 
12 5 hour streams? You mean 5 12 hour streams? No, wait. Yo, it's that one Resident Evil character. Yep. We have Yakuza online. Prepare to get 500 <laughs> hours in, in the timer. Yeah, gotta take in all that lore. How to get infinite heat? I can't check the inventory. Uh, there's... Uh, how do you get it again, actually? I think you beat Amon. You get uh, the item that regenerates your heat. I hate AI upscaling. It looks so bad sometimes, yeah. Bellus, battle for the dream. God, I really hope Dondoko Island is gonna have something, like, worthwhile to unlock. Because, like, you know, I, I wouldn't mind if it's just, like, a silly little game you can play. But I really want something unlockable from that. Especially for all the effort you're gonna put in. Watch them tie the secret party member to Dondoku. Hell, let them do it. Sure. That's... That's... Amazing. But, like, imagine you do all of that. You finish the storyline and then... And then... Nothing. Just, hey, congratulations. You finished the... You know. You know what's one of the most underwhelming things? Was it Kiwami 2? I think if you finish everything like 100%, you get a special gun if I remember right, and it fucking sucks. It's so bad. Was it Kiwami 2? It is, right? I forgot what the gun was called, or like what it did. But like it's some kind of rifle or shotgun or something like that. Like, I, I think it's a shotgun that causes like fire, or like it burns an enemy. It's so weird, like... <laughs> only has five shots, yeah, amazing. Yeah, I really hope it's not gonna be a reward like that with Dundalk Island. It sucks unless you upgrade it. Wait, you can upgrade it? Secret part members should be Majima and Saijima. I really, I really hope so, yeah. I mean, whether it's the secret party members or just party members in, in general, I, I'd love those. Hell, make them DLC! Make them DLC! I would buy that. I'm sitting from that one. I love how out of all of them, he's the only one with a sword. I wonder why they didn't give him the unarmed style. Shit, Kazuma! Whoa, that's super loud.
Can we get a tiger drop? We got a knee. Bruh! Dude, he's like impossible to dagger drop. <laughs> oh my god. What's the lore behind these robots? Minamida, you know the IF7 guy? He made those. Finally! Sheesh. Yes. It's in the title. Hold on. What's the lore behind chat? I don't know. Here. Uh, fight six consecutive battles against IF9, Dr. Minamida's newest combat development. Defeat these powerful opponents to claim the Colosseum's throne. Yeah. Do we play this guy? He's so boring. I'm so sad about that too. Uh, let's go Sadachi, why not? Why is that punch so powerful? Like, why? Just <laughs> one tap, 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 or two tap. Or, no, wait, one tap. But like double kill. One tap, one tap. <laughs> one tap. One punch Sudachi. Coming through. Sadachi uses the Kuze moveset. Oh my god, that guy too? Bruh! Boom. A 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 boom. Oh. Yeah, where was Sadachi during the dissolution? Would have single handedly single handedly defeated like a hundred of them. Boom. Boom. What? <laughs> Bruh, okay. Alright, gonna use the ability here. Do you think they're gonna do another crossover game like Lost Paradise? Maybe, it's possible. Yeah, maybe we'll get a Baki game, you never know. Oh my god, the damage on this guy. Sheesh. One punch, one punch. Boom, 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 boom. Dude. <laughs> Is there any lore reason behind why Sudachi is this powerful? Yo, Lester. Okay, might actually use the ability for this. Oh no, of course it's a grab. No! Oh, oh, that took so much. No. 
No, Zadachi, you're so close, buddy. No, 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 no. No! Oh, dude, the Akutsu moveset is so... Oh, Zadachi, no! <laughs> that dream is dead. Damn. <laughs> Look at him, he's, he's depressed now. Uh, Businessman, who is that? Oh, this guy? <laughs> no. Actually, yes. Let's go. Let's go. This is fun. I love this. This is epic, dude. <laughs> the kick. Uh, hell yeah. Look at that. You know, at least he has more damage than Akimoto. He has that going for him, at least. See? There is a strat here, there's a strat. Just wait. Oh no. <laughs> Finally! Salary man, yeah. You see that? Epic, dude. Hell, hell yeah, look. Yeah! Kick. Yeah! 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 Oh god damn it. Yeah! Dude. <laughs> oh my god. We almost did it though. Play as the cat guy? Wait, which cat guy? Oh, oh, the, the breaker dude. Skill, yeah, that was a skill issue on my part. One, two, three, and... One, two, three... And oh no! One, a two. Okay. One, two, dude. One. One. No. Oh no. Okay, wait, I, I thought the timer was going down. We're good, we're good. We have all the time in the world. One, two, three, up. One, two. <laughs> oh my god. Browser is destroying me, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. One. I got it, guys. See? The stun lock. This guy's actually pretty good. Oh, he's enraged now, though. One. One. A two. A three. A four. A five. Nope. One. Almost. We almost got him. W one. Two. Three. And. There we go. <laughs> he got those Zhao pants, though. Oh, God. We still have two more fights. One. A two. A three. A four. Five and six. One, two, three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a seven, and a and a. God damn! Whoa! The damage! Holy shit! By the way, keep in mind he's level twelve. He could do better, technically, but, like... Oh, no. Murder!
No, stop doing the animation, dude. There we go. One more fight. Oh god, it's the ninja moveset, dude. He's not the worst, actually. He just dodges a lot. Spin versus counter spin, yeah. Well. We did it! We did it! Ah! Oof. Crowd just watching these two jumping around like idiots, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's do a sponsored match. It's a weapon tournament, basically. Akimoto, why you want to sleep? The laser beam. Yes, it's late, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Now, how about we do... Uh, hold on. How about Gary? A little bit of Gary. It's been a bit... It's been a minute. How long have you been playing? Almost eight hours now. Gary versus Ryuji. Who wins? Oh no. Wait, no iframes? And the winner is Gary. Hell yeah. You go, my boy. You go. <laughs> Watching this on the toilet is amazing. Glad you're having fun, buddy. I do wish his heal did more. I think if it did, he would be a solid fighter, actually. Oh no. The only Ammon I beat is in Gaiden. 
He's pretty easy to get to. Same like the Yakuza 6. Even easier, honestly. Actually, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. It can't get easier than 6. Will he fight Ammon on stream? No, probably not. make an ammo save for this game. I think I did. It's what, like one of the 30 saves that I have. I don't know which one though. Hmm. Honestly, the ammo of this game is not that interesting. Like, you can... Like, if you're upgraded enough, you you decimate him. Um, is like a Dragon Ishi next? No, nobody voted for that. People voted for Yakuza Online instead. I gotcha game. Uh, I might actually just call it here. I think this is a good um, place to end the th stream on. We have one game left, guys. One game. And we're done with the Sabathon. That's it. Oh, it's gonna be over. Yeah, that would be cool, Daniel. Oh yeah, might as well stop the timer now since we're actually done. No, I just come back. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for joining. This has been a lot of fun. Gaiden is an amazing game. Um, and tomorrow we're, we're going to move in, on to a, like, a more amazing game. Um, so I hope you guys um, look forward to that. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be epic. Yeah, tomorrow's stream is probably gonna be the last one, uh, but we'll see about that. What are you doing after after this subathon ends? I'll try to release a video before Infinite Wealth comes out, but we'll see. Hopefully, it goes well. Uh, but yeah, until tomorrow, guys. You have a good sleep, good day, whatever time it is there, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye now.